HOD English by Madam Herman Jafet Kazungu English department you are needed Owen Kazungu you are needed by Mr Mzungu in front of the principal office Owen Kazungu to blue Jared to purple, you are needed by Madam Herman at English department. And Chris for yellow, you are needed by Madam Herman. All from two blue, you are needed by Mr. Mzungu in front of the principal office.
Yeah, order, order, please. Yeah, so the guest of honors up there. This side also the, our, our school for there, and all the parents, pupils. I'm Jambo. I'm Jambo Tena. Uh, so me and Likwatuna, Nimbo up and Kwataka Kwabudisha now. Nimbo ni a shule apa kukontrolde tu ali ali fanya the last KCC. Also ni gependa ku appreciate tu ali moe tu apa our able teachers. Na imani mko salam walimu. Asa nchanza. Yeah, listen. More challenge I know I face, but still I perform. Big ups to former from Falls. Now you are meant to as it post to make sure all over the region. Ju yamalimkuwa run. Kong 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 to all us here from Falls. More challenge I normally face, but still muli perform. Big ups to former from Falls. Now you are meant to as it post to make sure all over the region. Ju yamalimkuwa run. Kong 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 to all teachers involved. Yeah, checky. Because regions in the real doctorians, high school is the best performers, high school is the able teachers, then in him, our Toshi, Mkitan, you see them, Jengo, Naitaji, you are congestion, now Omba, Jengewe, Mabaram, Jengewe, Madato, Napia, Mabweni. More challenge, I know, while he face, but still, while he perform, big ups to former from force, now you are mentors, it could post, to make sure in all over the region, you are more a run. Kong, Kong, Kong to all us here from force. More challenge I know while he face, but still while he perform. Big girls to former from force. Now you are mean as it could post to make sure in all over the region you yam while a run. Kong, Kong, Kong to all teachers involved. Yeah, check it. To not pass but things to not lack ni labs, piano domes, but mean. Na post, we thank God Ziri Ezeki for trying to come in, Dr. Boys. We thank God Ziri Ezeki for trying to come in, Dr. Boys. Yeah, 24 7, Daro to a chop. School mean be to Kisaka, ah, from M to PM to rise and shine with no sleep. No wonder to not perform, but all is that not give God first. Share is our issues up. Neglect they play their part. Uh, thank you for that nice presentation. Ladies and gentlemen, we are waiting for our chief guest. He's uh, opening the classroom and uh, the biology lab. Let's remember that Dr. Agri High School started in the year 1951. And uh, for the many years, the school has been doing good. Ikumbuka kwamba mwaka uliopita wanafunzi 236 waliweza kujiunga na chuo kikuu kutoka katika shule hii. It's a nice performance. It's a nice progress as a school and we really thank God for that. As we are waiting for the chief guest I wonder all the students kindly, if you are not on the lines, let's settle down.
ule madam wangu na blue hapo mbele. Yeah. So wanamaliza hapa waende pale. Mm-hmm. Wanamaliza hapa waende pale. Okay, Wale wanamaliza hapa wanaenda kule kwa kule sasa hapa. Sawa. Ongeza tu sauti kaka. Ongeza tu sauti. Mm. Bas. Naelewa. Natambua uwepo wa alumni Dr. Agri Chair. Welcome sir. Thank you so much for your presence around here. Dakika chache 
sasa tutaweza kumpokea mgeni wetu wa heshima amesha fungua rasmi madarasa pamoja na maabara ataelekea moja kwa moja hadi ofisi ya mwalimu mkuu alafu ataweza kufika mahali hapa tunaomba atakapofika sote tuweze kusimama tumpoke kwa shangwe vifijo na nderemo sherehe hizi ni za mara moja kila mwaka kwa zawadi tu wale wote ambao waliweza kutia fora katika masomo na katika mtiani wa kitaifa vile vile leo tutaweza kwa zawadi wale wanafunzi viranja ambao wameweza kuifanya kazi kwa kujitolea kwa kipindi cha miaka minne hongereni kwenu prefects wetu tutawazawadi pia continuing students kidato cha nne tatu na mbili ambao wali ibuka washindi katika miaka iliyopita karibuni sana tuweze kufurahia pamoja natambua uwepo wa shule jirani ya Canon Kituri Canon Kituri wataweza kututumbuiza na nyimbo moja ya kutoka jamii ya Uganda abaganda so itakapofika wakati huo wacha tujifunze tamaduni zingine nje Niwashukuru wote walimu wa shule hii ambao wameweza kufanya sherehe hizi kuwa za kufana ajabu. Walimu wetu wamengara kwa siku hii yetu ya leo. Wengine unaweza kuwasahau bwana. Natambua uwepo wa mwalimu Mr. Siri popote pale alipo. Tumpigie Mr. Siri ya makofi. Asante sana mkuu wa idara ya hesabu huyo. Natambua uwepo pia wa B Achieng Madam Rosemary mkuu wa idara ya Kiswahili. Tumpigie Madam Rosemary makofi mazuri. Natambua uwepo wa mwalimu Komanda. Tunamuita Komanda mahali hapa. Mwalimu Joseph Ngwatu ametenga suti ya laki kadhaa. Tunasema pongezi sana mwalimu. Anaingia sasa mwalimu Abraham Waswa. Mwalimu Abraham waswa karibu sana katika maeneo hayo. Naomba ukimaliza na suti hiyo basi unigawie kidogo. Mtavaa koti we utavaa sehemu ya chini. Asante sana. Natambua uwepo wa ustad. Ustad Shaban. Karibu sana naomba ni sehemu ya salamu alaykum. Ah tutambue uwepo wa HOD Guiding and Counseling. Naomba tusimame sote kwa heshima. Anapofika mgeni wetu wa heshima. Karibu sana. Karibu sana tumpigie makofi mazuri. Wapi shangwe na vigelegele. Naongele hadi watakapofika. Asante sana. Asante sana kwa kuweza kufika mahali hapa. Shukran sana kwa viongozi wetu ambao wamefika tutatulia tu kwa ajili ya wimbo wa taifa tutapata pia wimbo rasmi kutoka uh, Dr Agri baadaye lakini kwanza tupate tamasha hili la wana scout ambao pia watatuletea wimbo wa taifa tutulie tafadhali
tunaweza kuketi wakati scouts wataendelea na tamasha lingine Anakwenda sasa kuiomba idhini yake mgeni wetu wa heshima ili aweze kulikagua gwaride hili ambalo limeandaliwa rasmi kwa heshima yake Nimesema mwanafunzi huyu ni kwa jina Mwavita ndio meja jenerali wa kikosi hiki Ataiomba sasa idhini yake atakapoipata ataandamana naye Asante sana amesha pata idhini hiyo hivyo basi mgeni wetu wa heshima atalikagua gwaride kisha baadaye atawapa baraka zake ili tuweze kuendelea Nilivyosema hapo awali wanafunzi hawa waliibuka kati ya tano bora katika mashindano ya scout ambayo hufanyika mara moja kila mwaka mwaka huu yalifanyika kule gatuzi la kwale Asante sana mgeni wa heshima kwa sehemu hiyo. Wapi makofi mazuri? Asante sana. Asante sana. Kisha baadaye ataiomba ruhusa hiyo tena kuweza kuliondosha gwaride hili.
anampisha sasa luteni kanali ili aweze kuendelea hii tu ni katika kuboresha tamasha lenyewe Tuwapigie makofi mazuri kufanya haya yote inahitaji umakini wa hali ya juu naomba tumwalike baba askofu mahashamu baba askofu ili aweze kutufungulia rasmi sherehe hizi basi mgeni um, wetu wa heshima wabunge walio kuja na waheshimiwa wote walimu mwalimu mkuu na walimu wazazi na wanafunzi hamjambo bwana asifiwe basi tuna furaha sana kuwa hapa siku ya leo kwa sherehe hii maalum sana kusherekea matokeo mazuri ya watoto wetu dr agri walifanya vyema basi tumekuja tufurahi pamoja na tunapoomba basi tunataka tuwaongoze kwa neno fupi ambalo linatoka kwa kitabu cha kut kwa sababu alikuwa mkamilifu alimchagua kwa sababu kuna kitu aliweka ndani yake ambacho kingeweza kuleta mabadiliko makubwa katika jamii God will never use extraordinary creatures to bring extraordinary results God uses ordinary people to build extraordinary activities don't think you are ordinary god has created extraordinary power in you you know extraordinary family is constructed by parents and children who outgrow their ordinary character if you want to perform extraordinarily then you must be ready to outgrow your ordinary behavior an extraordinary nation is held by the hands and the efforts of men and women who outgrow their ordinary behavior and their ordinary thinking dr dr green you are now in the league not of the county not of the region but of the nation you are now competing with other national schools 
You don't have to be given a national name to produce a national results. You don't have to receive marks that warrant people to go to national schools to produce the greatest results in Kenya. Just be here. You are in the right place. Stop being ordinary. Stop thinking like others. Think extraordinarily. Teachers, you can be the best teachers in this nation, if not Africa and, not, and the world. Because you have discovered you have to be extraordinary to produce extraordinary results. You have to be great to produce great results. Moses was just an ordinary boy from ordinary village born by ordinary parents, and he was uh, given an ordinary task of grazing, and God saw extraordinary abilities in him. God saw extraordinary character in him. You just need to tell God, activate the extraordinary in me so that I can produce Wonders in this nation. Wonders in this world. Try to close your eyes a bit. Think why are you living like ordinary Kenyan? Why are you living like ordinary African? And tell God I want to grow out of the ordinary like Moses, who was just an ordinary person. But when he heard the voice of God, his performance is still narrated today by all generations. We can perform extraordinary in our existence if only we outgrow our ordinary behavior. Just tell God, I don't want to continue being ordinary. I don't want to continue like this. I must become extraordinary. I can feel my thoughts are transformed. My language has been changed. My hope has been focused. I'm no longer existing in the ordinary. I'm no longer conducting my life in the ordinary. I am extraordinary. I don't, I don't want to be like everybody else. I want to be unique and produce extraordinary results. Just pray for yourself. Pray for this school. That God will give us another moment of celebration greater than what we experienced last year. This year may be different. This, may, this year may be extraordinary. We are no longer in the county league or region. We are now in the national league. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this wonderful meeting that you have brought us together. We may glorify you and honor you. May your power be upon each one of us as we stand to speak. May the words of, the, of our mouths bring inspiration to this institution. Lord, we pray that your power will be upon the teachers, students, parents, and all the guests. That we shall, the end of this year, again, come back in celebration. We pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Now, just before I sit down, please, uh, 
allow me to congratulate the teachers and uh, as a church we want to hand over this beautiful check from the church you know sometimes people think uh, the church is not is only coming for prayers no we do more than that we do more than that yeah uh, now, uh, last year we prayed with the uh, uh, head of department, science, and we said uh, we were holding hands and we said uh, this year uh, we must be the best and they were the best and we said we shall bring uh, a piece of cake to be celebrated. So please, uh, Madam Lillian, thank you very much. So principal, please uh, receive this. From uh, the sponsor, um, please organize a beautiful cake for the science department and all departments. Thank you. Asante sana, Baba Skofu. And then, uh, <laughs> this is very interesting. We have two checks. The other one is uh, sponsor of the ground. The other one is the diocese. These are two big checks. So please, um, uh, teachers, celebrate. Pigi ya makofi mazuri. Yuko hapi mwalimu mku? Sione wivu buwana. Mwalimu mku, thank you very much. We highly appreciate. Si kwa mdomo tu, lakini pia kwa matendo. Madam Lillian, please, on behalf of the teachers for the sciences, kindly come and pick the checks. HOD, Okay, it's okay, it's okay. Asante sana, Baba Askofu. Our chief guest in this auspicious occasion, Mr. Luca Chebet Kangogo, the Honorable Mwashako MP Wundani constituency, the Honorable Haika, the women rep, Taita Taveta, our bishop, the Commissioner and the Administration present here today, our BOM Chair, Professor Guyo, our dear Principal, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Hamjambo. Tunaanza sasa tamasha la burudani ambalo limeandaliwa rasmi kwa sherehe hizi. Na kutufungulia ukumbi ni shule jirani ya Canon Kituri. Wanafunzi wa Canon Kituri walikuwa katika mashindano ya mwaka huu pale gatuzi la kwale na item wanayoileta hivi sasa ni kwa jina abaganda or baganda folk song or folk dance ambayo itakuwa inaelekea nyeri katika mashindano ya kitaifa tuwapigie wan baganda hawa makofi mazuri Kunradi, natambua wepo wa mbunge wa voi, I'm sorry sir, mbunge wa taveta, heshima enu. Wanakano nkituri, uanjani wenu. Dr. Agri, music, mjitarishi. Baada ya kano nkituri, itakuwa ni Dr. Agri.
Heshima yako Mr. Manyeso kutoka Canon Kituri Hayo makofi hayatoshi jamani Tuwashangilie Hawa wanaelekea nyeri mwezi wanane katika mashindano ya kitaifa Wanaingia sasa Dr. Agri Music. Dr. Agri tafadhali ukumbe ni wenu. Dr. Agri wanatuletea nyimbo almaarufu Engombe ya Aba. Wimbo huu ni aina ya mwazindika tunaita folk song. Wametoka katika mashindano hayo hayo ya muziki katika mkoa wa Pwani kule kwale ambapo waliibuka magwiji katika tamasha lile Dr. Agri tafadhali Our chief guest Dr. Agri will be performing a title folk song This is our signature tune as Dr. Agri anytime we have any celebrations Dr. Strong Dr. Strong. Thank <laughs> you. 
sote tuweze kusimama kunradhi wana muziki naomba tusimame kwa ajili ya gavana wetu ambaye amefika mahali hapa wapi shangwe na vigelegele tumpigie makofi wale wana kauti wa hapo unaweza cheza kidogo wakati tunamkaribisha gavana wetu kwa jambo ya staili hiyo wapi makofi wazuri welcome your excellency welcome to dr abdu Welcome sir. Pacha. Shukran sana mzazi ulechelewa Lakini da 
Thank you so much. Asante sana wana muziki wa Dr. Agri. Naomba Tuwapigia <laughs> Atumpigie bwana uh, Julius Mzungu Makofi Jamani. Let's clap for our MC Mr. Julius Mzungu. Tunakutambua sana. Um, tunapoendelea na um, programu yetu. It's my ample time and request. I want to request our school principal to introduce the teachers then I pick the program from that point welcome sir yeah, thank you bwana master of ceremony for this auspicious opportunity our chief guest uh, our political leaders who are present here uh, parents who have also found time to join us today. Our principals from other schools who have also found it wise to join us here and other distinguished guests. Good afternoon. Good afternoon again. I'll be extremely brief because of time limitations. Mine is a very humble and pleasant opportunity to introduce to you the teaching staff of Dr. Agri High School. We are celebrating good results and trust me members, these results came courtesy of the hard work of the teachers we are going to see right away. So kindly, with the humility, teachers, Dr. Agri, let's just stand there for our visitors and parents to be able to see us. Please. Just Makofi Kowalimu as they come. Iyo ndo kikosi ya walimu wa shule ya upili ya Dr. Agri baadhi ya walimu hawa matokeo yao ni bora kitaifa matokeo yao ni bora katika mkoa wa Pwani mzima kwa mfano somo la historia ni bora coast region somo la fizikia ni bora coast region somo la biolojia ni bora coast region Somo la computer, la DD. So these are teachers who have worked marvelously to ensure that the results are good as they are. Kwa hivyo, for the purpose of time saving, nikitaja jina yako unainua mkono so that we move very, very fast. Nitaanza na mimi mwenyewe kwa magina ni Robert Aran Maima. Ni mwalimu wa somo la historia na kiswahili na ndiyo principal wa shule hii mkono wangu ndio hii yuko juu alafu anayefuata ni bwana Nyakundi Morekwa anayefunza somo la geografia na hesabu yeye ndiye deputy principal wa shule hii alafu anayefuata mwingine ni madam Grace Mabuti 
shule yetu ni kubwa wanafunzi 1800 ni lazima tuwe na deputies wawili yeye yeah, anaitwa Grace Mabuti anafunza somo la hisabu na historia na bwana chief guest kuna wakati huyu madam alikuwa wayu namba 2 au namba 1 in Kenya he was in Kenya the best mathematics teacher in Kenya number 2 So you can imagine the type of teachers we have in Dr. Agri. Madam, thank you so much. Bwana Election Mwadime anafunza somo la la Didi. Yeye somo lake bwana chief namba 2 Kenya mzima ameshindwa na Nairobi school only in Didi. I mean of 11.5. Alafu tuko na bwana Election bwana Hamisi Mwabako anafunza somo la kemia alafu bwana Daniel Syria hesabu na somo la biashara alafu bwana John Kadhoka geografia na historia alafu bwana Simon Walicha historia na CRE alafu bwana Justice Mawaza si Kiswahili na CRE alafu bwana Brado Zotieno Computer Studies bwana Martin Kinyanjui Kinyanjui yuko voi timu yetu ya football inacheza semifinali saa hizi kwa hivyo anaisimamia bwana David Nanjinia somo la agriculture bwana Chief Guest Agriculture scored a mean of 11.4 again the best in coast region Bwana Raja Bindeche mwalimu wa business studies business we had a mean of 9.8 sir Bwana Ndeto Mwoki Historia Kiswahili Madam Rosemary Achieng Kiswahili CRE Madam Herman Pauline somo la English na literature Madam Lilian Osiemo Huyu ndiyo alikuwa ametuzwa na awadia bishop kwa kufanya kazi kwa bidii. Mean score ya biology was 9.7 sir. That is under her docket. Mean score for physics was 9.9, better than alliance girl sir. <laughs> And then mean score for chemistry was 7.6. She's the HOD sciences, she's doing a sterling work for us. And then uh, Madam Andala Veronica Madam Andala Veronica Madam Mary Mwaura English literature Madam Joyce Mutemi Geography Business Studies thank you madam Madam Emily Mwae Madam Emily anafunza CRE Kiswahili Madam Cynthia Awor Cynthia anafunza English na literature Bwana Julius Mzungu, Julius Mzungu. Yeye ndio master of ceremony, anafunza English pia. Madam Diana Nyambu. Diana Nyambu anafunza historia na CRE. Thank you madam. Bwana Donald Ki, Donald Kililo. Huyu <laughs> ni Mfaransa, anafunza French and Mathematics, a very strange combination. Bwana Collins Odiambo anafunza agriculture biolojia bwana abraham waswa anafunza kiswahili na historia bwana allen mbeka an old boy of the school anafunza maths physics bwana charles mwau master of ceremony yeye pia ni maths physics bwana tendo lionel an old boy pia anafunza business studies and maths bwana asilo robert Asiro anafunza somo la English. Bwana Festus Mutunga. Festus Mutunga anafunza somo la Kiingereza. Bwana Justus Obwoga anafunza somo la English literature. Yeye pia ni mwandishi wa vitabu, bwana Chief Guest. Ameandika vitabu vingi sana vya kizungu ambavyo vinatumika katika shule mbalimbali katika Jamhuri ya Kenya. So we appreciate him for being here with us. Bwana Madam Masi Chepto 
Masi chepto English literature Bwana Alan Chacha Alan Chacha English literature Alafu bwana Victor Kipkorir Victor Maths physics Alafu bwana chief guest we are the only school in Kosi region offering aviation Tupigane makofi tafadhali Tunataka hao wanafunzi wetu after form 4 waingie Kenya Airways kama pilots. Waingie in the armed forces managing those planes up there. So the teacher in charge of aviation is Mr. Ferdinand Manyonge. We will want to train our pilots for the future. And then we have Bwana Abdallah Shaban, mwalimu wa Kiswahili, IRE. We have Mr. Bethwell Kioko. Kioko anafunza Agriculture bio. We have one Peter Owino. Ye pia nafikiri. Oh, amefika. Peter Owino ni mathematics physics. Samuel Njoroge. Ye is in Voi. In charge of the football team also. We have Madam Shali Sara. Anafunza somo la kifaransa pia. Alafu Peter Nyinge. Peter Nyinge. Anafunza business studies na geografia. Elija Mwanzige an old boy an old boy of this school math business Murage Anthony Murage Anthony chemistry mathematics Rich Nzomo Rich Nzomo an old boy again wanapita hapa wanaenda university wanaregea kusaidia ndugu zao wae kama wao thank you bwana Zombo and then bwana Victor Odiambo computer studies thank you so much walimu na on behalf on behalf of the guests who have come here i want to thank you okay yeah i was being reminded how could i forget this the, the oldest guy <laughs> in the group wanalemera wanalemera lemera ni mwalimu wetu wasomo la computer computer we had a mean of 11.6 among the best the republic of kenya kata si of bwana lemera so walimu wa santeni sana kwa kujitokeza kwa uzuri wazazi wajue and i know we shall continue doing the good work thank you so much you may take your seats Bwana Chief Gesa, allow me to introduce the principals, fellow principals who have joined us today. Ningetaka kwa heshima kuu wale walimu wakuu shule zingine ambao wamefika hapa pia waje mbele. Tafadhalini. Please fellow principals who are here, let us appreciate your presence by being together with us Dr. Agri today. Makofi tafadhali as the principals come. It's a wonderful honor from you, wonderful gesture. Kwa hivyo nitapeana microphone kwa our chair. He is our chair of all principals in Taita Taveta County. Bwana Madeda achukue msikani I introduce his members. Welcome sir. Uh, thank you my colleague Bwana Rani host principal uh, to our guest of honor our RD Bwana Chebet Kagongo rafiki yangu to our governor uh, ndugu yangu Andrew Mwadime wa kuja uh, wabunge wetu wa Taita Taveta County mheshimiwa Mashako rafiki yangu bwana Chome mbunge wangu Kovoi ndugu yangu Bwire na oh ndugu yangu Shake hayupo but tuko naye in mind and spirit dada yetu Lydia Haika uh, wachungaji my brother bishop um, wachungaji ambao wamevatana naye our education officers dr Estanjiru, my county director sikaso na wageni wote mlio karibisho kwa hafla hii ya leo mabibi na mabwana wageni wetu wa hafla hii ya leo ambapo tumekuja kuwa zawadi dr agri 
uh, na usalimu nyote hamjambo hamjambo tena bwana yesu asifiwe bwana jesu kaso yangu ni mafupi nimepatia tu fursa hii ya kuwajulisha walimu ambapo tumesema tuje tushikane mkono na ndugu yetu Arani manake walivotangulia kusema wale wengine ni shule yetu ambayo inachipuka inapaa uh, inapaa kwa kiwango kizuri sana so tukasema wacha tuje tujumuike nao wanapoenda juu wana crate nafasi na sisi tunaingia tunajaza ilo pengo so tuko pamoja na uh, leo tumekuja kikosi nianzie ngambo ile ingine tuko na dada yetu madam wani kilema mama shego monica mwashego inoe wanake namjua na majina yote mawili dada yetu monica ndosi mwashego mwalimu mkuu mwakishimba ni mwakishimba eh mwakishimba secondary tuko na dada yetu mary mwadom uh, mwalimu mkuu sacred heart mwakiwili tuko na dada yetu bitres uh, mwashi mwalimu wetu mkuu sina chief mwangeka tuko na dada yetu christine busolo mwalimu mkuu mwatate secondary uh, ndugu yetu uh, kijana chipukizi uh, my organizing secretary katika kesha ndugu yetu joseph charo kazungu mwalimu mkuu timbila so madam lydia pia tumetoka kutoka tavieta tukaja paka huku ndugu yetu loro ile jina nyingine wanashinda tek te, how do you pronounce it tekwenyo na mtaka tu lolo lawrence tekwenyo mwalimu mkuu st mary's boys high school ndugu yetu kamanza a uh, shimbo secondary ndugu yetu daniel mwangi funju one of the best sceneries ukija ukutaita usirudi bila kwenda kwa funju uone the rest of the world from his school ndugu yetu jesse macharia mwalimu mkuu ngangao secondary school ndugu yangu charo mwalimu mkuu kiwinda secondary school ndugu yangu uh, kajungunye kimoja kajungunye secondary school uh, my pastor dada yangu ya uh, uh, kio ya St Agatha amekuja uh, kuwakilisha madam Mwere isn't it eh? alafu na dada yetu Paranga secondary Oyugi from Paranga secondary school naona tumetoka paka ngambo ile nyingine tutapakana na makweni tumekuja paka huko May Gladys the other name is what Mwakitele amdondonyi um, secondary school alafu na um, mgeni wetu kwa siku hii ya leo ndugu yetu Aran Maima principal wa host ya leo uh, Dr Agri Secondary School ndugu yetu Alimi Kennedy all the way from Kitumbi secondary uko in the deep of the thick of the forest thank you so much amejikomoa kaje huku nami mwenyewe kutoka Taveta Chala Secondary School majina ni Madeda Douglas Mkongo mwalimu mkuu na kwa neema ya Mungu mwenyekiti wa hawa walimu wetu wakuu ambao wanasukuma gurudumu la shule zetu za upili jimbo letu la Taita Taveta County mbarikiwe nyote tubarikiwe siku ya leo thank you so much for listening and for your time and thank you so much my brother Ran your chief guest sir allow me to also recognize the presence of our colleagues in the primary section who have also joined us on this very very big occasion tafadhali ni walimu wa shule za primary ambao wako hapa tungependa kutambua uwepo wenu kwa hivyo kama uko karibu tafadhali shuka ili mgeni wetu aweze kukutambua please sir please madam our colleagues ya karibuni karibuni sana karibuni sana you are our suppliers bila nyinyi hatuwezi kuwa na form 1 so we recognize your wonderful efforts you do at that lower level thank you thank you karibuni sana karibuni sana na nitampatia nafasi hii our old boy huyu alikuwa ni classmate wa Moshako eh Moshako remember him he was your classmate na wakati wa Moshako ilikuwa dr Agri napeleka wanafunzi wa nne peke yake university those, those those days now it is 236 please take charge and introduce your members okay thank you very much lakini umechoma <laughs> okay 
ni siwezi kuongea mkubwa wangu yuko hapa bwana mwashigadi kindly take this mantle thank you mr mwakisha all the student dr agri all protocols observed good afternoon i wish to take this opportunity to congratulate dr agri high school for the good performance in the region and nationally sisi ndo tunapeana watoto kutoka primary tunapeana dr agri and other schools but those who come to dr agri wanafanya vizuri kuliko wale wa shule zingine so congratulations for that performance na chukua fursa hii ku introduce walimu wakuu ambao tuko nao hapa japo wengine kwa sababu ya changamoto hawajaweza kufika bado but the few are here welcome <laughs> okay. i am miss uh, patience kilusha deputy head teacher main primary school Um, Madam Dokas Mwanyengela, Deputy Teacher Sungulu Primary. Um, Doris Mwakubona, Mwanda School Primary and GSS. Head Teacher. Mwakisha Pamba, Bairuga Primary, Head Teacher. Malogo Mwandinya, Deputy Msangari. Irene Mwanyama, Iyale Primary and GSS. Alfred Changawa head teacher Takai Primary School Malindi Sub County Kilifi County pia mzazi wa Stanley Hare from 3 Yellow Asante Janet Mwakio Morocco Primary and GSS Shukran Jidan Gibson Mwanganyi Mwaluma mwalimu mkuu shule ya msingi ya Bumingu ikiwemo pamoja na sekondari msingi asanteni Jacinta Wabasi deputy head teacher Nguraru primary Holiness Nganga Nyampu schools tena mzazi wa hapa former mzazi wa hapa God bless you all Thank you I am Frederick Ndole principal Mlamba primary and junior secondary by the grace of God I am the chairman Kepsha Taita sub county Thank you thank you walimu wenzangu karibuni sana we feel honored and privileged to be having you here yeah. You're the next one As I wind up my my brief speech Leo tumekutana hapa kama wazazi kama viongozi kuweza kusherekea matokeo mazuri ambayo shule ya upili ya Dr. Agri ilifanikisha katika mtihani wa KCSC uliopita kwa kifupi kwa kifupi kulikuwa na alama mbili za A up lane zilikuwa ni mbili na katika region yetu yote katika public schools natumai chief guest ata confirm this shule ambazo zilikuwa na alama A plain zilikuwa ni mbili peke yake Kenyatta Motate and Dr. Agri High School and we are proud to have been part of that wonderful team alafu A minus ilikuwa ni sita alafu B plus ilikuwa ni arobaini B plain zilikuwa themanini na nne Alafu B minus zilikuwa ni sabini na nne C plus zilikuwa ni 28 na nane. alafu alama C plain zilikuwa ni nne Mean score ya shule mwaka jana ilikuwa ni 8.647 an improvement of the mean score of the other year which we had a mean of 7.45 uh, kwa jumla wazazi na wageni waliofika kama mnavyojua Uh, shule yetu iliweza kufanikisha wanafunzi 200 36 walipata alama C+ and above 
na ambao wamequalify kuingia katika vyuo vikuu baadhi yao mtawaona amefika hapa na wakata kupeana zawadi na tumai mtaweza kuwaona shule yetu ina offer the following subjects kwa haraka zaidi kwa ngeno heshima aweze kujua tuko na somo la english somo la kiswahili somo la hesabu somo la biolojia somo la fizikia somo la kemia somo la historia somo la geografia somo la dini CRE IRE somo la agriculture somo la DD drawing and design somo la computer somo la french business studies somo la woodwork metal work french alafu majibu yalikuwa mazuri mwaka jana basi ikawa ni shida wakati wa form 1 intake ikawa kila mzazi sehemu hii anapigania mtoto wake aingie form 1 dr agri capacity yetu ilikuwa ni chache sana ilikuwa ni wanafunzi 378 lakini kwa sababu majibu yalikuwa ni mazuri ikawa ni vita ikawa ni kuvutana kwamba kila mtoto area hii anataka ingie dr agri wengine wamepata barua nzuri za shule za kitaifa kwingine ukiona sema hawaendi kule ni lazima wakuje dr agri na mimi si walaumu kwa sababu gani kuna ile imani katika hiyo sehemu kwamba dr agri ni gateway ya kwenda university na kwamba mtoto akiingia dr agri hesabu after four years atakuwa university material kwa sababu hiyo bwana chief guest ili lazimu kwamba tu admit wanafunzi 736 ku join form 1. Nambari kubwa 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 sana. Na nambari inapokuwa kubwa basi kuna kuna challenges za walimu, challenges za madometry, challenges za madarasa, vyo na kadhalika. Na ningependa kutaja jambo hili. Miaka nne iliyopita mbunge wa sehemu hii bwana Mwashako ningetaka sikie hii sijui amepotelea wapi mheshimiwa miaka minne iliyopita my friend and an old boy of the school experimented with something akasema dr agri mta admit community class kwa sababu dr agri ni an extra county school tunachukua nafunzi katika pembe zote za Kenya Nairobi wako hapa kabiga wako hapa na kadhalika sasa mheshimiwa akasema anataka affirmative action wewe huyu mwanafunzi ambaye normally angejoy dr agri maybe amepata 250 270 apatiwe nafasi katika shule hii ili wana kijiji the community feel kwamba they are part and parcel of the ownership of the school tuka experiment tukachukua klasi moja community sasa kumbe tulijitakia shida tulijitakia shida kama dr agri ile klasi kaingia form 1 ikaingia form 2 ikaingia form 3 walipofika form 4 the entire class ya community ili qualify kuingia university <laughs> Mheshimiwa thank you so much for the support we are so grateful please keep it up Kwa hiyo kwa kumalizia ningependa kusema kwamba kama shule na nafurahi kwamba tumeongea na mgeni wa heshima na amesema zile challenges zetu atazifikisha kule mbele ili tuweze kupata msaada shida kubwa tuko nayo hapa shuleni ni shida ya walimu shida ya walimu na ningetaka wazazi wafahamu jambo hilo ili tukisema tusaidia neni ku maintain walimu wetu basi tuweze kufanya kazi kwa pamoja ili walimu wabakie shule ya dr agri ndapeana tarakimu fupi ya staffing status katika shule hii katika shule mzima ambayo ina wanafunzi 1800 tuko na walimu tatu peke yake wa somo la english so you can imagine katika somo la kiswahili tuko na walimu sita katika somo la hesabu tuko na walimu watatu peke yake madam mabuti tafadhali simama mr siria simama na mr indeche simama These are the only teachers and mathematics in the old school is a very very big shortage madam ka alafu somo la fizikia mwalimu ni mmoja peke yake only a single teacher for physics 
Yet our physics mean was 9.8 among the very best in the Republic of Kenya. Asa inalazimu shule yajiri wali mungina ambao walipu ina serikali. And it's a very, very big challenge to us as a school. Uh, somo la historia, wali musaba, kidogo wapu tunashukuru. Uh, somo la geografia, wali mutano. Somo la CRE, wali mutano. Somo la IRE, somo la ini IRE, hakuna mwalimu watam moja. Inabidi shule, ishulike na hae. Somo la agriculture, wali wawili. Somo la DD, na DD mekua ikifanya vizuri kabisa miaka yote. Ni mwalimu moja peke yake. Somo la computer, pia ni mwalimu moja. Somo la French, hakuna mwalimu. Somo la business studies, mwalimu watatu. Somo la woodwork, hakuna mwalimu. Somo la metal work, hakuna mwalimu. Somo la French, hakuna mwalimu. Somo la Arabic, pia hakuna mwalimu. Sometimes I even wonder how do we make these results despite such setbacks. So wazazi ni meana ni weleze hivyo hili tunapo saidiana katika mambo ya kuwajiri walimu extra BUM tuweze kujua kwamba ile shortage tuko nae wapa ni kubwa sana na tusipo ingilia basi tamanisha kwamba kuna masomo ya fundishu ya hapa na itakuwa ni vibayo kwa hivyo kwa hivyo machache na mengi ningependa kumwalika uh, Professor Guyo ambaye ndi our able chair wa BUM aweze uh, kuendeleza hizi harakati kutoke hapa Bwana Prof, please welcome sir Mgenu uh, yetu mshimiwa, uh, Regional Director of Education, uh, wakubwa wetu wa county hii, kuanzia governor wetu, na mshimiwa wengine, uh, naona Senator Jafika Bado, wabla ikonjiani, MPs wote wa county ya taita taveta na wana wamefika nafikiri shake ndo hayuko uh, county director represented by the deputy county director uh, TSC represented by the director wakubwa ingine bishop wetu sub county director of education <laughs> sita kusahau TSC uh, chairman wa parents uh, wa pia e county pia yuko hapa maemsie wote najua wapo ma principal wa shule zote zile zinaweza kuweza kufika um, ma chief sub chief wale wameweza kufika the BOM members na pia members wale wameweza kufika wazazi na wanafunzi bwana asifiwe bwana asifiwe naona mmeanza kupigwa na jua sana sijui sauti zimepotea mimi kwa jina naitwa professor Paul Mwashimba Guyo na najua na jina la kipo, la, la kiborana na na jina la kitaita mimi ni mtaita natoka hapo hapo voi na mheshimiwa wangu yuko hapa he can confirm. Um, karibuni Dr. Agri. Feel at home. Msiwe na shaka. Tuluwaita. Kwa yo hauja kuja bila kurusiwa. Langu ni dogo. Sita ongea kwa mda mrefu. Nataka kuwapatia a little burden ili mkitoka hapa mwenayo Dr. Agri tutakubaliana ni shule ambayo inafanya vizuri Dr. Agri tangu nimeingia I've been having a few sleepless nights especially January wakati watu wanataka kuingia hapa napigiwa simu mtoto wangu ana 250 anataka kuingia huko Nambe unajua ni extra county school lakini. Eh. 
I can only negotiate to 340. Then I put to 50. Now, be unless you can go and talk to Mashako and Achukwaga community class. Nasayo ni mtu kilifi. So it's impossible. <laughs> now, you ni nightmare ya kilifi. Ya taita ta sita ongea. Saingine ukifanya vizuri ndiyo sasa Wacha tuniseme msema moja wa kiswahili. Tunda lilo hivyo ndo linapurwa zaidi, sinio? Everybody wants it. So, the owners of Dr. Agri wa kwanza ni wazazi na walimu. Afu na community. They are the first owners. Mjue kwa kifupi hili tunda liko sehemu kwa mba litakua linapurwa sana. Na kuna watu wanatumia better techniques ya kulipura. If our number moved from 378 to 718, that's what I remember. That is almost double, sindi yo? O nafikiri yo 300 and something ilitoka hapi. Baruwa zingineli tunasema zilitoka juu. Every extra child or a son ambaye anaingia Dr. Agri beyond the number of bed and desk it's an extra burden to the school and in short I'll say it's an extra burden to the board of management sasa mimi nimesema hii it cannot just be my burden it has to be my burden with you guys that's why nimwambia mimi nitawapatia uchungu kidogo tu kama mtaniruhusu wazazi wenzangu unajua nyinyi ndo marafiki zangu nyinyi tu ndo mnanisaidia mna sana ni ukweli si ndio hebu pigieni wazazi makofi maana wametusaidia sana <laughs> eh yeah. oh, wazazi wamesimama na sisi na ni watu wanatuwe tunaelewana nao tunaongea very honestly about the challenges so mmeelezwa population yetu saa hii ni 1800 na kuna kanamba juu hapo na 18 wale waliotoka ni 220 na 20 na 36 si ndio tukaleta 700 mwaka ujao bila kuadanganya mwaka ujao na tuombe Mungu kwamba CBC itaenda another year in J, J eh, when I say junior secondary lakini mwaka ujao ikibadilika tu je wanakuja secondary tutakuwa na double index si ndio lakini tunaomba tu iendelee tu hivyo hivyo tuwe tuwe tujipange. So mwaka ujao bila any doubt we are going to get 700 students. Because since I've been here numbers will increase 180, 300, 400 kidogo 700. As I'm expecting even more than 700. Nikipata tu 700 hizo numbers zitakuwa zimegusa 1000 sorry 2300 sai na 1800 na lia je nikiwa na 1300 na si eti mimi ndo naenda nikiwatafuta a a mtakuja beyond the need mimi nitaambia principal ile namba tuna request 400 lakini watatuletea 800 si ndio So wazazi wenzangu ndugu zangu ni nyote community kwanza napenda sana community okay. MCAs wako hapa wanasikia viongozi wa nyumba kumi, kila mtu yuko hapa Shule ni yenu Mmetuita Maima <laughs> Tusiongee kule mbali yeye anasema natoka kwale lakini najua kwa mbali zaidi hapa <laughs> Si ndio <laughs> Mimi natoka Voi lakini kwa Dr. Agri nasikia uchungu community this is your school community this is a school you should be proud of hata kama ni extra county mheshimiwa wamwafanyia mbinu paka wakapatia klasi yenu ni klasi yenu 
haichukui mtoto ambaye ametoka mwatate sidhani haichukui mtoto wa taveta najua kina haika sasa ataanza kukaa na mheshimu amwambia sasa hii share sasa tupia tupawe yetu haichukui watoto wa kutoka voi unanyi peke yake now you tell me kwa nini undani wa sifili hii ni shule yao why you should be proud of it nataka nione watu wa undani wanatembelea hapa na sema eh hey, hey, tuna chakula hapa tunataka kuuzia kwa bei nzuri maana najua vyakula vimepanda bei sana ndio ndio shule yenu naomba mkaribie wazazi wengi hapa wengine wanatoka kwale kilifi wapi hata wengine beyond coast haizi kuja na gunia la mahindi gunia mahindi tatoka kwenu naongea hivyo kwa sababu vijana wangu wananitembelea wananiambia <laughs> eh, profesa <laughs> eh, sasa hivi wameshikilia sahani ya boboro si mnajua boboro kidere anaambia profesa ongeza portion bana hii portion ni ndogo <laughs> si ni kweli vijana? Si ni kweli? Wazazi si mnajua bei ya vyakula vimepanda huko. Ukienda supermarket na elfu moja unatoka na vitu vya tano Mtu anatoka kiteta na ametoka supermarket na maokota mwenyewe kwa shelf na anateta. Kwani shule inanunua chakula wapi? Si ni nchi hii. Hao vijana wametoka mikononi mwenu wako mikononi mwetu lazima wale na ni vijana mnajua miaka 18 miaka 17 na 18 wanakula kikweli <laughs> mnajua wengine mnafurahi wakiwa daktari agro nasema no, at least ugali unaweza lala nikala kesho ama nini basi wakiwa hapa <laughs> ile pressure tuko nayo pia sisi so kwa ufupi ndugu zangu watu wa community hilo neno hilo tatizo kubwa la chakula lipo hata kwa shule siku hizi kwa sababu ile hela inatoka kwa serikali haijaongezeka ile hela ambayo tunaweza tukachukua kutoka kwa wazazi hatuwezi kuanza kuambia tunataka kuongeza kwa sababu ya chakula lakini mkipartner na shule mavuno yenu yaje direct kwa shule basi tutapata afueni na watoto wenu watatoka wamenawiri siki masomo peke yake lakini pia kiafya shida ya kwanza hiyo nilikuwa nataka nihitaje ili vijana wajue maana walinipatia hiyo message na mimi na ningumwa kweli na sijui nitayaomba yake na nani lakini najani nadhani nyingi tu ndio wenyewe mnaweza ingia jikoni population yetu ya dr agri ambao ni 1800 imeleta tatizo kubwa sana la malazi ambao kama board tumelishughulikia tumefanya mikakati tumepanga tumewasilisha hoja hizi na bado tutaendelea kutafuta mbinu ili watoto waweze kupata mahali pazuri pa kukaa akilala na lala vizuri hata wengine wakienda nyumbani nafikiria hapana kule daktari kitanda ndo kitamu kuna wakati tulikuwa tunawaambia wanafunzi wa form 4 wabaki wasiende half term wanafunzi wakakataa nilikuwa sijaelewa kwa sababu gani lakini sasa hii najua <laughs> nyumbani chakula kitamu nadhani ama kitanda kizuri zaidi ama sivyo sijui but i'm surmising what i'm trying to say ni hiki tushikane mikono tuongeze malazi hostel zetu tuziongeze tushikane mikono tuongeze classroom na naambia asante sana wazazi asante sana serikali asante sana watu wa CDF tumeweza kujenga ile jumba sasa likisha ile gorofa ya juu hii class peke yake hii block at 50 per class itachukua watu itachukua wanafunzi mia sita. lakini kama naweza kuijenga yote kesho ichukua wanafunzi mia sita alafu kesho kuta wakiingia form 1 wanakuja 1000 unaona bado tuko nyuma hata sijui nitafanyaje but uh, maybe we should increase the cut off ya kuingia dr agri to 440 no okay 
Hatuwezi, maana lazima tuchukue class ya community, tuchukue. Sasa hivi mheshimiwa atasema anataka stream mbili zake za community. Maana tumeichukua stream ya community na tukaipeleka university yote. Sasa atasema situongeze hiyo class kidogo. Si ni kweli? There are four MPs in Taita Taveta. Hii shule ni extra county. <laughs> Ai, maima. Me, I can tell you. There will be community class ya Taveta, community class ya Voi, community class ya Butate. No, si complain. <laughs> Unaona, zimekuwa tano sasa. <laughs> so, Langu kubwa uchungu wetu kilio chetu ni kwamba nataka vijana wakae vizuri. Na kama board chair that is my pain all the time. I love coming to this school, I love working with them. I try and make as much time for them as possible. So that tuende mbele. Naomba community hii ijilete karibu kabila kidogo tu karibu kidogo naomba community tusongee karibu na shule kama kuna mtu ana shamba limelala lala tu hivi alitumii sema dr agri you can take this mtumie kama miaka mitano mpande panda vyakula venu that is what i'm talking about maana tukiweza kupanda vyakula pojo marage tomato si tumepunguza bei ya chakula kwa jikoni jiko kwetu watoto watakula portion nyingi that is the partnership I'm talking about. Siezi nikawapatia shamba kwale. It becomes difficult. But if that is what we need to do, tutaangalia mbinu. Tafadhali tuangalie watoto wetu, tuwashughulikie. Problem ya population haishi na malazi na klasi peke yake. Na chakula. There's another problem that is looming ambao pia iko tunaifikiria na hiyo problem inaitwa maji somehow tavevo doesn't release water this side for that long tuna shida ya maji hapa and yet we are in the hill ule ule mlima una capture maji sana there is a lot of water down here so tunafikiria tuta solve problem ya maji namna gani Despite the fact that the boys don't like showering all the time, so maji atawa tumi sana, lakini najua na mkijana wangu hapa, ata sijuchukuli na kijana wangu. Nimepati yo report ya pendi kuhoga. So he's not alone. Sasa kama wapendi kuhoga na maji hayatoshi, ye wakitaka kwanza kuhoga itakuwaji. Menipata. So we are looking at how we can improve in terms of water. So again community, najua kuna kama ka stream kengine kanapotea kanaenda underground kanafika mahali pale. Tunafikiria kufanya mradi fulani. Ambao tunataka kusikia uh, ku, uh, kushikana na community mkono tuweze ku harvest maji ambao shule itatumia na pia community itatumia. But we see at the process of harvesting maji Watu uongea. Wasema Dr. Agri wanachukua maji yetu sasa. Ngawaje maji ya kwa Dr. Agri. So naomba let's work together so we solve a problem of water. There's a problem of water here. Uh, as much as uh, it seems like there's a lot of water, it's very green, but there is a problem of water. Ni ukweli. So there's another, that is the other problem that we need to handle and we are looking into it. Nimetaja into that list because unajua kuna hao watu ambao wako nyuma yangu they are problem solvers pia si ndio wale wako kwenye ile jukwaa some of them are problem solvers some of them are connectors wale wako pale they know my pain ni wazazi so naomba kwa unyenyekevu wale ambao ni wahusika wanaoweza hmm? kama gavana wetu mgeni wetu mheshimiwa ma MP wote wako hapa tuweze kushikana mkono tu ni shule yenu mnajivunia ah majibu yakitoka taita ndio inainuka ina, ina, ina si ndio si undaji peke yake itainuka taita kwanza 
Hapo sema hiyo iko wapi? Iko Taita. Oh, okay. Eh upande gani? Ndio unasema undani. Oh. Lakini kilijulikana nini? TTC kwanza. So bwana governor it is your pain as much as it's mine ama as much as it's mashakos. Unanielewa nafikiri. Tusaidie hapa na pale wanafunzi wetu wengine wana struggle kwa fee, basari basari zifike. Wazazi wale wanangangana, you know tuwasaidie ili waweze. Maana wakilipa fee the little budget that we have made tunaweza tukafika mahali tusuluhishe vitu vingine. Mikakati ni mingi lakini bila huo mtiririko wa mafuta yale ambayo kulainisha kila kitu hamna kitu. Tutakuwa ni namba zetu tunaziangalia tu. Kwa naomba viongozi wote hata kuna wengine hapa na kuna wengine wamekaa tu hapa kwenye tenta ambao wana connections zingine kali zaidi. Mwani mwone eh, mwalimu mkuu mwambie kuna kitu fulani mwambie mna shida maji na mbinu fulani. Njoo tu one, sisi tuko tayari. The last time I think we did a project outside kuna wazungu walikuja tu ghafla sijui walikuwa wanapita. Wakaona kuna shule hapo kaingia sijui. But I was told and I was following kwamba walikuja wakatutengezea some hot water eh, system. Mana maji yanakuwa baridi paka vijana hawataki kufua. Wacha kuoga. Ah no, the water gets cold here. It's a, it's a truth. So tuko na heating system hapo ambayo inatumia solar which works. Sasa uh, vijana wetu wanafulia na maji ya moto instead of kuoga kwanza. Na naisha kwa sababu hapa jua linakimbia kimbia. Sasa hii ni saa 7. Na jua linakimbia kimbia utafikiri ni saa So you can imagine that little water gets finished because somebody is anafua nayo <laughs> instead of in the bathroom. So tufikirieni wakati mko na shughuli zenu hapa nimewapatia ibaden ili mweze hata kama sio all the time i don't want it to be all the time kwa muda mdogo mdogo hata once in a week unafikiria dr agri by the way what can i do i'll be very happy namba yangu kama unaitaka iko kila mahali jina langu ni paul eh, professor paul mshimba guyo i'm sure ukiweka tu kwa internet hivi utapata na utapata tena namba yangu I don't know how it got there but you'll get it. Nasema mimi ni mzazi ama mimi nataka kuwasolve. Ah. Kile niko nacho nitaweka chini nitawaambia ni kwa mali fulani ama tukae tuongee because I know a little solution for these guys takes them far. Nilivoingia board mara kwanza niliwaambia watu performance hii itaenda itafika mahali. The only way you can enhance it is by improving the living standards of our wanafunzi. Na that's where we are now. Si mnataka tupate 10. Si mnataka tupate 10.5. Si mnataka kusema kapsa betu angalie nyuma, eh ni nani wananifukuza hivi? Ama sema ni nani wamenipita? Improve the facilities. Then these boys will be motivated more. I'll give you an example. This group walikuwa form 4 nafikiri tukileta basi, si ndio? That guys were in form 4. Ile imetoka. But these ones are in form 3. Ili basi lilivoingia kwa hii compound mimi nilikuwa hapa. Ilikuwa about 6 in the evening. Hao wanafunzi the from 3s who are in from 3 then. Waliingia kichaa. E Wenyewe wanatuambia mwalimu mmeniingiza kichaa kabisa wameingia wazimu. Sasa nashinda kichaa kwa nini? Walikuwa wamefurahi kiwango hakieleweki. Just getting a bus for the school motivated these guys too much. Apart from what it did. So naomba mnapokwenda mnapofikiria unaweza kusema ah, nitawaletea kavani ama nitawaletea magunia msini ya mind nimeongeza portion wao jamaa atafurahi now you see what is what you need to do kama ujui nione kwa hayo machache nasema asante thank you very much MC Back to you sir.
So, Haya e, poleni unajua saa nyingine ukiwa mzazi na una mambo mengi kichwani mengine anakupitia Samahani e, I was in a hurry to give you the burden e, naomba ni wa introduce hawa ndugu zangu ambao tunangangana nao kila siku e, the board members nimekumbushwa sasa hivi alafu nipitishe mkono huu kwa deputy county Commissioner aendelee na maneno. Sasa board members eh paka sponsor msimnaweza kuja hapa waone wawajue wale ambao wana the ones with the labor pangs of pan, eh, of, uh, of Dr. Agri on a daily basis. Simulionyesha fashion tayari how we do this. So uh, nitawapatia mic tutamaliza na principal. I'll start with the ladies. Uh, mama you wapi? Amenda nyumbani? Ma, <laughs> njo, 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 njo. I know you're a member. Okay. Um, I'll just pass it over to them watajisema kama yeye ni chair, man member of which committee wataonge. Uh, all protocol observed. Good afternoon. My name is Pamela Nyambu. I'm the vice chair. Akuzingatia uh, itifaki zote. Na salimu bwana sifiwe. Komajina na ito bwana Teddy Malaho. Nikisimamia kiti cha chair PA, Dr. Agri. Uh, all protocols pro uh, observed. Uh, my name is Eric Mlati and I'm a member of the board. Thank you. Good afternoon uh, everyone. Hamjambo uh, nyote leo. Majina yangu ni Collins Motati. I'm the chair of the finance committee. Thank you. All protocols observed. Alexon Mwasi is my name. Academic committee. Thank you. And I'm a former old boy here. So I'm really happy and privileged to be serving in the board. Thank you. All protocols observed, Reverend Humphrey Minor, Chair, Academics Committee. Bwana Asifiwe, mimi ni Achitiku Njusto Moshumbe, ni board member, lakini pia mwenyekiti wa Discipline Committee. Uh, Nikizingatia gazi zote za uongozi, na itua Reverend Raphael Mwalukuku. Um, the current sponsor on the ground ni Limrithi huyu ndugu yangu wa Chidiko All protocol observed Dr Strong Dr Strong My name is Julia Mwale I am a human resource and student welfare chairperson I had been here for 4 years as a parents representative the result we are celebrating today it's our results and my class was on top for it. All protocols observed. My name is Amos Mwasi, a member audit committee. Jonathan Mwadime, uh, representing teachers at BOM. An old boy, Dr. Agri. Bwana Asifiwe, mimi ni Mama Julia Lugano ambaye kwa education ndio nilikuwa kutoka hapo na nimeendelea kukaa na Dr. Agri miaka mingi sana kwa hivyo hao wote hao ni watoto wangu katika ku manage hii shule na shule hii muipende vile mimi nimeipenda kila wakati mimi niko hapa nataka na sasa tume tumegusha wale wengine tuliwaangusha that is our joy Kwa hivyo, karibuni sana. <laughs> I'm uh, Robert Aran Maima, school principal and the secretary to the board chairman. Yeah, uh, Eric Mlati ndio... Yeah, and uh, I'm also the chair of the audit committee. 
I work in the audit profession. Thank you very much. Uh, th thank you, Prof. Um, Chair, this is Collins Mwantach again, Chair of the Finance Committee. Sisi ndio tunataka pesa ya kuendeleza hii shule. Thank you. It was important to say that. And Mama Sante sana kwa kutukumbusha. Bila wewe hatunge badlika. I know what I'm saying. Kama unataka details, nitakweleza badai. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. <laughs> Okay, sasa kulingana na ile mipangilio yetu tulikuwa tunaomba tupeane e, wadhifa wa ku manage program kwa county commissioner lakini sasa yuko represented na deputy county commissioner hapa. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you prof. Mimi nataka kuzima pale. Ili nione wazazi vizuri Najua hapa ndiyo nitakuwa naita wabunge wetu, wazungumzie, ili waone wazazi wetu na waweze kupatia sisi muongozo. Uh, kwa mgeni wetu wa siku ya leo, ambaye is our regional director of education, our governor wetu, uh, Andrew Mwadime, our Honorable members of parliament wakiongozwa na mheshimiwa Haika karibu sana our honorable member of parliament wa undanyi uh, ndugu yangu uh, mwashako santi sana uh, ndugu yetu kutoka kule Taveta Honorable um, uh, Wabwire uh, Ndugu yetu pia mweshmiwa kutoka voi Honorable Chome uh, Professor ambaye ndiye chair wa hii shule Najua pia tukona mweshmiwa uh, wetu wa, wa MCA wa area hii yetu nilimuona uh, tuko pia na viongozi wale wote ambao watiko katika ile jukwa tuko na ambao pia tukiwa na bishop wetu hapo pia tuko na wazazi walimu na wanafunzi hamjambo kwa majina mimi naitwa Ngonyi Maina Ngonyi Maina ni deputy county commissioner wa hapa undani ama taita sub county mimi langu kabisa ni kutoa pongezi kubwa sana hasa kwa walimu wa kiongozi wa na principal na wanafunzi na pia board ya hii shule mimi nataka kushukuru nyote mukiwa wazazi kwa kushikilia hii shule na kuipatia nguvu board kui manage kwa sababu board is the highest a uh, decision making organ of a school walimu ambao wako katika kitengo kikubwa sana kwa kulete hizo resort nzuri ambazo tuna tumekuja kushu, kushudia na kupeana zawadi wanafunzi ambao they are very key in bringing those results and one thing i know about results results hasikuji hivyo tu in a require consulted efforts kutoka kwa warimu kutoka kwa board kutoka kwa 
wazazi na na wanafunzi na resort huwa haikuji ikiwa kuna mtu sana kwa hivyo lazima nishukuru shule kwa sababu ya uongozi mzuri na ule ushirikiano kwa hizo vitengo ambazo nimezitaja wanafunzi kwa sababu ya kuwa na discipline nzuri is very key to any good result na mimi nataka kutoa shukurani yangu kubwa kwa wanafunzi kwa sababu mnatufanya sisi kama viongozi wa hapa to be very proud kwa sababu ya kuwa disciplined na pia kutuletea silver nzuri mimi nikiwa katika ile ofisi ya deputy county commissioner huwa napata simu nyingi sana ya kwa sababu ya nyinyi kuwa na resort nzuri na kuwa disciplined na kuwa na wazazi na wazazi na walimu ambao wako focused ili tuongeze viongozi wa kesho kesho mimi sitakuwa DC I'll be an old man lakini who will take my seat it is you kesho ninyi ndio mtakuwa viongozi leo miaka yangu inaendelea kudidimia ndugu yangu our governor mkimwangalia movie zimejaa kwa kichwa nani atachukua kiongozi kuwa kiongozi yule kesho hata kuwa kiongozi na imagine na muona honorable mwashako akiwa na kinyasa kikubwa sana akitembea hapa lakini leo hii anavuka kwenye ile meza that is that is life and to be in that position first you must be disciplined as a student you must be disciplined and you must be focused you must be you must have vision so that you take over those positions hata mimi nilikuwa mwanafunzi kama nyinyi in a very remote school called Isiolo Boys I first saw a library at the university laboratory yetu nimeona hii hai najiuliza jameni kumbe kuna pahali kuna laboratory nzuri this a very beautiful laboratory if we can make use of the resources that we have tutaweza kuwa viongozi wazuri kesho hapa within taita taveta we have a lot of resources resources untapped and the only way we can tap those resources is by getting better readers better readers hapa nasikia tukisema hatuna maji tukichimba maji kwa huu mgumo tree hapa kuna maji hapa but we require very little resources kikwetu pahali kuna huu muti mgumo tree hapo kuna maji hapo 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 na haiendi haienda haiendi mbali Pe, pengine ni 30 40 uh, feet down tunapata maji hapa ambaye inaweza sambazwa eh huku tupate maji tupatie neighbors you see so langu jambo langu mimi kama DCC 
ni kuuliza wazazi tushikirie hii shule ili tuwe tuweze kuproduce tuweze kutengeneza viongozi wa kesho ambaye watakuwa ma engineers kesho watakuwa madaktari ili waweze kutap the resources that we have within our county hii county imebarikiwa sana hii na resources nyingi na jambo ni na kwa sababu ya kuwa na viongozi wa kishirikiana hivi vile na waona wanashirikiana kwa hivyo ni vizuri tushirikiane pamoja kama leaders tuendelee kujenga nchi hii yetu ya taita taveta kwa hivyo hayo ndio yangu nazungumza kama ambaye ni mtumwa wa county commissioner ambaye alikuwa anataka kuja sana hapa kwetu taita taveta uh, ambaye ni dr angre ili kupatiana uh, sentiment zake e, nafasi hii nataka kumwalika tutaenda haraka haraka kwa sababu ya mipango nitamwalika our MCA ambaye yako na nilimuona our honorable member pal yes my brother kuja unajua hii area ni yako kuja ndugu yangu zungumzie hawa vijana wetu karibu sana my brother Mwamidi mimi ndio area MCA na wakati naongea machache ningeomba wenzangu wa MCA tumkue mnatembea hivi ili tufanye introduction na tukue muda tafadhali wale MCA wote wamekuja mimi sitakuwa na mengi kwanza nataka ku congratulate Dr Agri niliko na kauchungu kidogo kwa sababu mimi na wakili Bwire tunajua ile shule tulitoka na mumecharaza mmetucharaza vizuri lakini mjue bado wanawafata kwa haraka ndugu yangu bwiri ataelezea vizuri na nyinyi msikubali kushikwa msishikwe maana mimi sasa ni MCA wenu hapa si ndio mimi nataka kusema hivi kitu inayonitatiza zaidi kama area MCA ni namba kubwa ya graduates wanaoomba kazi walimu na waombeni tutayarishe kizazi cha sasa kutengeneza kazi hakuna kazi za kuandikwa hizi kazi za kuandikwa hakuna tunapita vizuri whole class itaenda university lakini hii whole class ikienda university what happens after that this is the question now we should start asking ourselves the first question of whole class going to university has been answered as we celebrate we should not get stuck there let's ask ourselves what happens to that whole class that went to university is it stuck outside the governor's office is it stuck outside the mca's office wondering what to do with their lives the most important thing is ability to make a living the good results are supporting document. Kwa hivyo walimu na waombeni wakati tuna prepare hawa ndugu zetu. Hiyo tu ndo tushughulikie. Kazi yangu ilikuwa nyingine ni kuintroduce wenzangu na kwa heshima na washukuru kwa kuwa na sisi undani. Moja moja tu ndo nitamruhusu ongee manake ni old boy. Hao wengine waseme tu majina na waseme asante tushukuru Dr. Agri alafu old boy usalimie watu kidogo kwa mgeni wetu wa heshima 
viongozi wote walioko hapa all protocols observed hamjambo hamjambo kwa majina naitwa Peter Shambi kwa neema ya Mungu mimi ni secretary general wa chama cha Waipa katika kaunti ya Taita Taveta lakini pia ni nominated MCA katika bunge letu la Taita Taveta congratulations dr agri Asante sana kwa mgeni wetu wa heshima na nikizingatia itifaki zote majina yangu naitwa Dokas Mlugu kwa neema ya Mwenyezi Mungu mimi ni MCA wa Rongeward mwanamke wa kipekee aliyechaguliwa katika kaunti ya Taita Taveta kupitia kwa chama cha UDA na katika bunge letu mimi ni minority whip kazi yangu ni kuleta discipline kwa bunge Mwalimu wangu Mr. Nyakundi, asante sana. Alinifundisha hesabu. Kidogo ilinichenga lakini niko mahali nilipo. Mwalimu nilikuwa one of the greatest noise makers. Kile ulikosa kujua ni kwamba destiny yangu ilikuwa hapa. Kwa hivyo nakushukuru sana mwalimu. Nakupenda na kuheshimu. Mwalimu wangu David Lemera asante kwa kunifundisha mambo ya kompyuta. Sasa kidogo naweza andika barua kwa kizungu kupitia kwa kompyuta. Mungu akubariki. Na zaidi ya yote pia kama mwana UDA na kukaribisha katika ibada ambayo itakuwa mwatunge na Chief of Hustlers Mheshimiwa Daktari William Samoi Ruto, mimi nikiwa mtu wake wa mkono kuangalia list ya shareholders. Asante. Mwanamke bomba. Uh, asante sana mheshimiwa Mwamidi asante sana kwa heshima ya mgeni wetu wa leo heshima ya gavana wetu Andrew Mwadime wa Kujaa heshima ya wabunge wetu wa Voi mheshimiwa Chome mheshimiwa Bwire Taveta na former goalkeeper wa Dr Agri mheshimiwa Danson Mashako mkoona <laughs> ah uh, Mawaziri wetu nimeona wengine wako hapa. Uh, ma MCAs wetu ambao tumekuja nao and all protocol observed. Hamjambo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Dr. Agri Strong. Dr. Agri Strong. Mbona sisikii sauti mmesikia njani ni Dr. Agri Strong. Dr. Agri Strong. Asanteni sana. Basi kwa ufupi tu. Mimi ni old boy. Niliingia hapa 1994 na nikatoka 1997. Haleluya. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na sasa hizi Mwenyezi Mungu amenijalia. Mimi ni Joseph Kennedy Mwalega aka Anko MCA wa Matate. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mimi nitasema mafupi tu kwa vijana ambao wako hapa old our Dr. Agri Strong. Ekeni heshima kwenu kwa binafsi ekene heshima kwa walimu ekene heshima kwa wazazi wenu vile sisi tuliweka heshima na ndipo sasa leo tunasimama mbele yenu na mtaenda mbali congratulations dr agri asante sana mungu wabariki sawa asante uh, ndugaomba kurudisha kipaza sauti kwa MCA wa hii protocol kubwa kabla sijarudisha profesa ameomba na profesa wakati umeomba sisi watoto wako tunakubali na tunaitika. Kama area MCA na hii si kwa CDF. Hii si kwa basari. Basari tulipatiana uh, tunashukuru governor atatangaza vile mwaka huu tumetenga basari imepanda imeenda 10 million si ile 5 million ya last year. Na tunamshukuru governor atupigie makofi na Dr. Agri mulipata chunk kubwa zaidi ya hiyo basari ya hundani mbale watu lakini mimi kama area MCA nitapeana kwa principal 60000 mwaka huu form 1 mtoto mmoja most need form 2 mtoto mmoja most need form 3 mtoto mmoja most need na form 4 mtoto mmoja most need na ukikalkulate ni 15000 ninasukuma tu kama mzazi 
Kwa hivyo wengine watamona vile wataweza. Kwa principle nitapeana. Hiyo ni ya area MCA kwa kunifurahisha. Na zaidi ya hivyo ile nyumba mimi nimeishi. Kwa hivyo mimi ni adopted son wa Dr. Agri. Babangu alikuwa principal hapa. Mkiangalia kwa board mtaona Elias Mwamidi. Ni late sasa. Tulikuwa tunaishi pale. Kwa hivyo mkiniona nikipita kwa compound principal ujue nimekuja kutembea tu nyumbani kwetu. Asante. Thank you so much mheshimiwa. Ah uh... E, katika na nafasi na hii sasa nitamwalika nitamwalika mheshimiwa wetu ambaye tunampenda sana Danson Mwashako karibu sana ndugu yangu ili walike Ili warike ndugu zetu pia wale wamekuja kutembelea. Thank you. Dr. Hoye. Dr. Agri Hoye. Naomba kama unaniona unipungie mkono. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Jesu ukaso. Moko panana. Basi siku ya leo nina furaha kubwa kwa shughuli ambayo inaendelea hapa. Sasa kwa viongozi wetu nikitambua mgeni wetu wa Heshma ambaye leo amekuja kumwakilisha waziri wetu wa elimu Mheshimiwa Machogu hata kama yuko hapa najua mkubwa wa elimu pwani yuko hapa Governor wangu Mheshimiwa Andrew Mwadime wa Kujaa viongozi wa bunge wenzangu Mheshimiwa Bwire wa Taveta Mheshimiwa Chome wa Voi Mheshimiwa Haika wa eh, Mama County yetu ya Taita Waheshimiwa ma MCA. Kwa una hapa nimefurahi kuongozwa na mheshimiwa wa MCA wa hapa. Halmashauri ya shule hii kiongozwa na mwenyekiti wao Profesa Guyo, mwalimu mkuu Aran na walimu Baba Skof ambaye anaongoza sponsors wa kama shule zetu za kianglikana uh, uh, Bishop Liverson uh, Mngonda wachungaji wote walio hapa viongozi DCC wetu DEO director TSC na wazazi wanafunzi mimi leo mtaniruhusu niwe mchache wa maneno kwa sababu wakati umepata wageni unaacha wageni waongee zaidi si namna hiyo ili leo manake nyinyi mmenisikia sana katika eh, hotuba zangu hasa leo kwa ile furaha kubwa nilio nayo nitawaruhusu wenzangu waongee na najua wako na shughuli nyingi na najua gavana wako na shughuli nyingi tuko na mpango wa shughuli ambayo inakuja Jumapili sasa najua wako na haraka lakini wametupatia wametuenzi na wakaenzi shule yangu hii ya Dr. Agri ili waje washinde na sisi sasa kwa sababu hiyo nitawaalika wabunge waongee waseme machache alafu pengine mimi nitaongeza moja ama mawili alafu tumkaribishe gavana alafu protocol iendelee namna hiyo sasa kwenda mara kwa mara nitaanza na yule kijana zaidi wajua katika bunge taita taveta mmechagua vijana wakue pale bunge kakangu mheshimiwa John Bwire wakili kuja hapa useme na watu wa undani watu wa Dr. Agri lakini kijua hapa kuna watu hata wataveta wengi tu nilikuwa ninamwambia mheshimiwa Bwire out of the population ya 1.8 1818 students hapa kukosi watoto mia hamsini kutoka Tavet. Kwa hivyo hapa ukiongea leo umeongea na hata watoto wako kwa nyumbani. Tumpigie makofi mheshimiwa Bwire wakili John Bwire mbunge wa Tavet. Karibu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mungu ni mwema. Na kila wakati Amen. Kwa heshima kabisa ya mgeni 
wetu wa siku ya leo kaka yetu mkubwa regional director wa education um, kaka yetu mkubwa gavana Andrew Akuja gavana aliyeja amani upendo na maendeleo his lordship the bishop of the anglican church of kenya ndugu yetu baba yetu bishop mgoda wabunge wenzangu tukiongozwa na dada yetu mkubwa mheshimiwa haika mizigi viongozi wote wa serikali waliokuwa hapa waheshimiwa wenzangu MCAs wakiongozwa na mbunge eh, mbunge wa kaunti wa eneo hili wazazi wenzangu wanafunzi wa Dr. Agri bwana Yesu asifiwe wadabida na mrovu wa Mwasinda amen mimi sitakuwa na mengi ya kusema nimesikia kubarikiwa sana kufika hapa na mimi mniruhusu niongee tu maneno matatu kwa uchache kabisa la kwanza ni kupongeza wazazi wa Dr. Agri nimekaa hapa nikaangalia nikaona wazazi kutoka Taveta Taita Taveta mpaka Kilifi wamekuja kuangalia matokeo ya wababu ya uzuri wa elimu katika maisha yetu. Na mimi nataka ni kuangalia hata umwangalie mheshimiwa Mwashako vile anaangalia. Hebu toa elimu ndani ya Mwashako anakaa mtu gani? Si angekuwa sungululu saa hizi kule, anagonga gonga mawe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hebu angalia vile tuko na sura za wanaume kama Bwire. Jamani utoe elimu kwa Bwire nitakaa haja. And that is why tunawaomba kwa unyenyekevu. Jamani shikilieni sana elimu kwa sababu sisi tukisimama hapa ni ushuhuda wa yale makubwa ambayo elimu inaweza fanya katika maisha yetu. Tulikuwa watu wa chini kabisa lakini kupitia elimu Mwenyezi Mungu ametusongeza tumefika hapa. Kwa wanafunzi wa Dr. Agri. It pains me vile mheshimiwa member of county assembly amesema kwamba leo tunaongea Dr. Agri imeshinda Kinyata High School. Mimi nilikuwa Kinyata High School. Lakini nataka niwaambie kwamba msilegeze kamba. Ngungangane kabisa kwa sababu mkilegeza you know when I was in school in the year 2002 2005 kulikuwa kuna shule inaitwa St Mary's. Dr Agri was not anywhere there. Lakini hebu angalia ile hatua ambaye mmepiga leo. Kwa hivyo naomba muendelee kutia bidii na sisi kama viongozi tuko hapa kuhakikisha kabisa tunatembea na nyinyi kila sehemu ili kuhakikisha mmefanikiwa ma, na maisha yenu. Very lastly niongee kwa da, eh, regional director. Vile tumekuelezea Taveta, Taita na Taveta tuko na changamoto nyingi. Hapa hivi kuna walimu, kuna wakuu wa Kenya National Union of Teachers kuna kupet hapa wanangojea tu tusikose kutamka neno moja. Jamani hili issue ya hardship allowance undani na taveta inatuumiza sana. Tunaomba kwa heshima wakati unaangalia kwa sababu the reason why atupati walimu na walimu wataki kuketi ni kwa sababu ya kukosa hardship allowance. Tunaomba. Na nimemwona TSC County Director hapa. Kule kwangu taveta there is a school like Maclority Secondary. Shule ina wali... Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Shetani ashindwe. Amen. Kule kwetu Maclority, we have a teacher with we have a school with a population of 421 students, but iko na walimu watatu wa TSC. Yaani it is sickening inavunja moyo tunajitahidi lakini yani inashindikana kabisa na mimi ndo maana nimekunongonezea na ninataka pia regional director u notice kwamba tuko na changamoto ya walimu na haya mambo mengine mkitusaidia mambo mengine yataendelea vizuri jamani wapendo wa undani Mwenyezi Mungu awabariki sana awatendee mema na awazidishie katika kila jambo na very finally mmesikia kwamba siku ya Jumapili mheshimiwa rais atakuja hapa Jamani tunaomba mkuje kwa wingi kwa sababu tunataka ajue 
kwamba sisi watu wataita na taveta tunapenda serikali na tunaheshimu serikali ya mheshimiwa William Samae Ruto. Si ndio jamani? Tukuje ili tuhakikishe kabisa tumekuwa baraka kwake na kuwa baraka kwa watu wetu wataita na taveta. Makofi ya mheshimiwa John Bwire. Asante mheshimiwa. Nataka tuweke makofi yetu pamoja tumkaribishe mheshimiwa Voi, mheshimiwa injinia Chome Abdi. Makofi ya mheshimiwa injinia Chome jamani. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tumsifu Yesu Kristo. Asalamu alaikum. Kwa mgeni wetu wa heshima Regional Director of Education Gavana wetu wataita Taveta Mheshimiwa Andrew Mwadime Baba Askofu Liverson Mngonda Waheshimiwa wabunge Mama Haika Wakili Bwire na Mheshimiwa Mwashako MCAs wetu mlioko hapa viongozi wote wa serikali kuu wakiongozwa na Deputy County Commissioner ambaye namwakilisha County Commissioner wananchi hamjambo hamjambo yangu ni machache sana leo nimekuja kuungana na jamii ya Dr. Agri ili kuwapongeza waswahili wanasema chanda chema ndio ufanywa nini uvisho pete kwa sababu umekuja kuvisho pete nimeona na mimi nije nijumuike na nyinyi kwa hivyo hongera sana wanafunzi waliopo na wale ambao wengine wametoka hongera wazazi walimu na halmashauri ya shule hii ya pili nimekuja kwa sababu nimefuata wanafunzi na wazazi wa voi wa voi mpo Ebu nione mikono yenu. Na kutokana na takwimu nilizonazo pale ofisi wanafunzi moja na kumi wali apply basari na tukasema kwa sababu Dr. Agre wanafanya vizuri tutawapa wote. Na tuliwapatia cheki ya 878,000. Na tuko form 1 wame apply 56 na tunaishughulikia. Na la mwisho nilinifanya nikaja hapa. Ni kwa sababu naona watu wanaanza kui, mtindo mzuri ndio ufanya nini ndio huigwa. Nimetembea shule za voi na kuna shule imeongoza voi. Lakini nilipochunguza nikaona kuna mwalimu kama si mmoja ama wawili walikuwa Dr. Agri wameenda pale na mwagowe ikaongoza Sasa nimeamua halmashauri principal tutafanya mpango na tutakuja hapa kufanya benchmarking Hakuna haja ya kwenda mbali tukiondoa climate engine tunaweza lakini climate labda kule ile joto pale sasa ndio hatuwezi kugeuza lakini ni kwa sababu tuje tuangalie viwango vipande juu shule hii mimi naikumbuka na leo ni mara ya nne mimi kufika hapa mara mbili nilikuja nilikuwa na brother yangu akisoma hapa wakati imeanza kuwa na form 5 na form 6 alikuwa mtundu kwa hivyo alikuwa kila mara natumwa naja kuwakilisha wazazi kuja kuongea na huyo jamaa sitamtaja jina lakini watu wa voi wanamjua alafu nyingine nilikuja hapa na mheshimiwa rais wakati alipokuwa deputy wakati alikuja hapa nilikuja na leo nimekuja na nimeshukuru sana kwa hivyo pongezini sana na mheshimiwa bire alinongeza kitu lakini alipokuja hapa kwa jukwaa kasahau. Bwana tukikaa pale tutaongea tena. Ile mbuzi tumesema tutapatia walimu tuje tuwapatie. Walimu tu mimi na mheshimiwa Bwire tutashikana tutawapatia mbuzi kwa namba yenu kama ni mmoja ama ni mbili na tutafanya leo leo alafu tutaipeana kwa principal mnywe supu mchome nyama 
ili hao watoto muangalie. Dr. Agri Strong. Dr. Agri Strong. Naopenda sana vijana. Ukiona shule inapeleka watoto 98%. I say ukiwa hapa ukianguka utachekwa mpaka kijijini. Kweli ama si kweli? Wenzako wanaenda mia ni wawili mnabaki. Lakini nimeangalia nyuso zenu. Nimeangalia scout vile wamepiga paredi hapa. Mimi sioni yule anabaki hapa. Sasa tukija wakati ule mwingine hii 2% tuje tuijaze, tumalize, tuwe tumefunga goli, twende mbele. Na wale wavoi na waahidi Mukienda chuo kikuu mimi niko na nyinyi. Basari tutawapatia na hata kama ni kwetu mfukoni tatoa. Mwenyezi Mungu awabariki. Asante. Sasa hiyo ya walimu si waonongonezane alafu watangaze. Unajua kitangazo ndio inakuwa mzito ama namna gani? Ama walimu mnasemaje? Mwataka mambo ya siri siri. Sasa walimu wamesema muongee saa hii. Wakati tunamaliza mseme mbuzi ni nga ni ngapi? Ama nitakuwa nimefanya makosa. Si mambo namna hiyo? Sasa <laughs> Devrama. Sasa nichukue nafasi hii kumkaribisha dada yetu Mama County Makofi ya Mheshimiwa Lydia Haika Mizigi. Karibu karibu mwandu chapcha. Makofi tena jamani. Ma ndoni maukimbie manake wadema wabia vuduka aha. Hasa chomboa mboa. Take your time. Mama Sita ndio huyu. Asante. Asante. Ya kwa mgeni wetu wa heshima wa leo, uh, regional director, uh, governor wetu wa county yetu ya Taita Taveta, askofu Mngoda, wajumbe wenzangu MCA na wazazi na nyote mlioko hapa hamjambo. Hamjambo tena. Unajua mheshimiwa mwashako, leo ndo kumbe nimejua kumbe hii mambo ya goalkeeper ulianzia shule. Niko na story yake wakati tuliingia bunge last time tulikuwa monos pamoja. Niseme ama nisiseme? <laughs> Anasema nisiseme yote. Sasa huyu bwana aliingia foot club ya football club ya bunge. Na yeye pale alikuwa goalkeeper. Sasa mimi wa bunge nikikutana nao njiani wanatuambia tumepata goalkeeper mkali sana. This time kina Murkomen wanasema this time tukienda mashindano ya East Africa tunachukua. Ah, mimi nikikuja kukugundua wakati tumeenda mimi sikujua wakati tumefika Dar es Salaam. Nikamwona ndugu yangu mwashako ndo yuko pale sasa amejiset. Ha? Nikasema huyu goalkeeper alikuwa amesifiwa hivi ni mwashako. Hii nikasikia tumbo joto butterfly tutatoboa na mimi ni shabiki sugu niko pale sasa murkomendo huyo nani wamengangana aron chariot haya muhamed ali jichopevu wamechukua amerusha kidogo inaenda kumkaribia ndugu yangu mwashako na muona yuko seti lakini mpira ulivopigwa <laughs> Unaona na jibu kabla sijasema. That is a story for another day. <laughs> Manake tulimleta hapa akiwa amechifurika mguu. <laughs> Asante sana. Na nikiwa nasema ya mwenzangu, wacha niseme yangu. Mimi ama basketballer kule bungeni. Na nimesikia hapa timu ya basketball ndo inaongoza Afrika mzima. Sasa mimi nitawapatia challenge na ile timu yetu ya basketball ya wajumbe. Amen. Sawa sawa. Kwa hivyo tutapanga date ambayo either tutaleta wale wajumbe hapo wakuje wacheze basketball na Dr. Agri ama Dr. Agri ikuje kule Nairobi wafanye challenge na ile timu ya basketball ya wajumbe ya wanaume. Kwa sababu mimi ni basketballer kwa timu ya ladies and i am the captain niko mnoma sana kwa basketball <laughs> asante sana sasa today i have come here to celebrate i have come here to congratulate the school i want to tell this school that we are very proud 
we are so proud of Dr. Agri. And that is why we have honored you by coming here and sitting with you in this day of the prize giving day. Personally, nilikuwa na mweleza mweshmiwa. Nimepoteza rafiki yangu ambaye alikuwa anazikwa kule sagala. I really wanted to be there. Lakini kwa heshima ambayo hii shule inatufanyia ilibidi nitumane kule sagala ili nije niketi hapa kuwaonyesha kwamba we honor you and we celebrate you and we shall support you. Mimi niko hapa kama kiongozi, niko hapa kama pia mzazi. Kuna watoto wangu wengi tu wako hapa hapa ndani mimi na support mimi nafundisha. Vile vile kupitia ile fund yangu ya ngafu kuna watoto hapa wengi tu tunasomesha. I am very happy that katika ile lot ilitoka last time I had four I had supported na scholarship ambao walikuwa wametoka familia za chini sana na wote walikolify kwenda university. I am very happy. Ninafurahia sana. What I want to tell you students is that education is the only equalizer. Watu ambao tunawasikia majina yao tunayowasoma kwa magazeti. Kama vile Mheshimiwa Buri amesema, sisi wengine tumeketi na wa, wafalme kwa sababu ya masomo na kwa mcha kumcha Mungu. Watu ambao tulikuwa tunawasikia kwa majina kama kina Gideon Moi, mtoto wa Moi. Watu wengine tulikuwa tunamsikia kama Raila Odinga watoto wake na ndugu zake, tulikuwa tunawasoma kwa magazeti, tunawasikiza kwa taarifa ya habari. Lakini leo hii tunaketi nao kule bungeni, mimi naketi hapa, Ruth Odinga naketi hapa, sister Raila. We have a conversation. Mtoto wa Gideon Moi ni senator tunakutana hapo bungeni wakati alikuwa senator last time tulikuwa tunakutana tunazungumza. Hawa ni watu katika maisha yetu hatujawahi fikiria kama tuna, we can share a table with them. Lakini ni kujikaza kwa elimu kumtegemea Mungu na nidhamu. Tukaweza kufika pale. Kwa hivyo mimi nataka kuatia moyo leo. Muendelee na bidii hiyo hiyo wale wote mnawaona kule juu hata nyinyi mtafika kukaa nao mama haika kutoka kijiji kidogo tu leo hii anaweza kumzungumzia rais yani rais wa Kenya anaweza kumpigia simu azungumze na yeye ni kupitia bidii hiyo ya elimu kwa hivyo mimi nawatia moyo ndugu zangu wa CAD wazazi nataka kuwapongeza kwa sababu watoto hawaezi kuwa vile bila support ya parents and all other stakeholders na wapongeza na ninawapongeza zaidi wazazi ambao wamefika hapa siku ya leo pongezi sana Mwenyezi Mungu awabariki tuendelee kushikilia shule yetu tuipende shule yetu na sitamaliza bila kukosa kumpongeza mjumbe wetu Mwashako anafanya kazi nzuri hapa ametuweka pamoja ndio maana hata akiwa na function akituita sisi tunakuja kusupport yeye tunataka kuinuana umoja ni nguvu siku zote utengano ni udhaifu taita taveta tunataka kutembea pamoja tukiwa pamoja hata tukienda ku negotiate for anything our voice is stronger na tunasikika kwa hivyo yangu kwa leo yatakuwa hayo machache na mimi pia niungane na wenzangu unajua Mwenyezi Mungu anasema tushukuru Tushukuru kwa kidogo, tushukuru kwa kikubwa. Mheshimiwa Rais atakuja kwa ibada ya shukurani siku ya Jumapili itakuwa pale Mwatunge Ground. Ukipata fursa ya kuja, fika tuungane pamoja ni ibada tu ya shukurani. Mungu awabariki sana. Thank you. Makofi ya Mama County jamani. Lakini la bukse zo story kuselo birusi. Okay. <laughs> Sasa heshima ya meza kuu naona ile ile mambo imeanza kufanyika wabunge mbunge wa Voi mbunge wa Taveta na mama county wanakuja hapa mbele hapa naona kuna pesa kibunda hapa walimu mmefanya kazi nzuri na unajua mmefanya kazi hadharani mnatunzwa hadharani Sasa acha niaskie
Dr. Agri Strong. Sasa kwanza kabisa ningependa kusema mheshimiwa Peter Shake mbunge wetu wa Mwatate yuko pamoja na sisi yuko kwa kazi uh, ya bunge wako na retreat kule Mombasa kwa hivyo apology yake alikuwa ametupa lakini kwa tumesahau kuipeana tafadhali msione mbona yeye hayuko angekuwa hapa ya pili sasa tumekaa na wa mama hebu mpigieni kofi mama mpigieni makofi mama Haika tukasema sasa sisi hii uchumi inagonga kila mtu tutoe kidogo kidogo tukashika kumna tano mheshimiwa Bwire mimi kumna tano yeye akasema kama mama atatoa ishirini iwe hamsini kwa hivyo elfu, elfu zangu hizi hapa na za Bwire sasa mama anazieka alafu atapeleka yeye ndo atasi hand over haya sawa sawa hii ni 30000 na mimi nitaongeza yangu 20000 iwe 50000 kwa walimu lakini Dr. Agri Strong. Strong. Haya nitatoa 50,000 zingine watoto watupate mkate, wanafunzi wa kule mkate. <laughs> Sio itakuwa mzuri? Asante sana. Sasa kabla muende, unajua sasa umekumbuka wanafunzi. Na sababu hawa ni wageni wangu, si kweli jamani? Mimi si ndio mwenyeji. Sasa nilikuwa nataka nisikie watafanya nini na mimi nifanye yangu. Sawa eh? Sasa na mimi ndiyo tumalize hiyo agenda. Umetoa 15 15 na wewe 20 yes. 20 ya walimu na 50 ya wanafunzi. Sasa hiyo 50 ya wanafunzi mimi naongeza 50 juu. Ikuwe mia moja. Alafu hiyo 50 ya walimu naongeza 1030. Ikuwe 80. Alafu kuna kategori moja tumesahau. Wafanyikazi, subordinate staff. Mimi natoa 1020 ya subordinate staff. Kuna mtu ameguswa aongeze 55 ifike 30. Aya, eh, sasa hiyo kumi, manake subordinate staff wako hapa ama wako busy na kazi. Si pia wakipata 20 yangu, acha tuone anaongeza ngapi. Alafu tumpigie mheshimiwa Shake sema semekana ako na sisi kiroho eh. Aongeze kumi, yende. Manake wezi kuwa ki, ki, aya muongeza tano kwa subordinate staff inakuwa 25 ameongeza 10 ya tano inakuwa 30 so tano tano that is 30 pamoja na mheshimiwa Shake 10 kwa kwa subordinate staff inakuwa 40 anaongeza 10 mama count inakuwa 50 wana mambo kama hayo sasa subordinate staff wako na 1500 walimu wako na 1500 alafu wanafunzi wako na elfu moja. Si namna hiyo jamani? Walimu wako na 8. Yes, maana kuna tati yangu yes. Walimu wako na 80. Sasa tuanze vizuri. Msije mkakosea mahesabu. See you are very good in maths. Madam Mabuti yuko hapo. Tusikosee hesabu eh. Itakuwa aibu kama uliongoza Kenya mzima. So tuanze na wanafunzi wako na elfu ngapi? Mia. Alafu walimu wako na ngapi? Alafu wafanyikazi wasaidizi wa, wa, wa wako na ngapi? 50. Tupigie hao viongozi makofi. Yangu iko wapi sasa? Eh hey, leto yangu. Nisije nikasema story peana 50. Sasa sijui ni ngapi utafanya hesabu. Lakini 50 20 si na. Haya, nafikiri nafika 100. Haya lete 100 hapa yangu. Ili tufunge hii mahesabu. Sina hiyo jamani. Mwalimu hizi zote zako. Wewe utaenda kugawanya huko mbele mbele. Tupeane sasa hivi. Bwana election mwadime mwakilishi wa walimu ambali na hizi pia bishop wetu alipiana 1015 ya walimu makofi kwa bishop alafu our sponsor on the ground akapiana 1025 pia kwa walimu kwa hivyo bwana election zako ni ngapi head boy yako wapi head boy wa shule yako wapi head boy please come Head boy, ah, chukua hesabu yenu kwa mheshimiwa. Mtapanga siku ya kununua ngombe. 
Uwezi kwa sababu hapa. Aya walimu. Walimu. Tupokia yu kwa sasa. Alafu kwa unifamu. Kuta kukungeza? Tukauti. Kuna vijana wa mena kuchaza bolu. Sasa mine na kukunu nila glucose elfu tano. Glucose. Asema, asema. Chukua hiyo alafu. Glucose ya futu bolu elfu tano. Kuna timu zetu za basketball, za volleyball na football. Wako voi saizi. Na wanacheza kutuakilisha. Our old boy ambaye ni MCA nominated. Amepeaya na shilinga elfu tano. Waweze kukula glucose. Bwana Lemera please pokia kwa niaba ya wanafunzi wetu. I know you also have a team there. Please keep the money for them. Wakifika watajipanga nazo. Okay, thank you sir. Karibu sana. Mheshimiwa MC na anasema kuna ahadi alikuwa amesema watoto wanne from 1 2 3 4 15000 each. Mnakumbuka eh? Tayari ametuma kwa account ya shule 60000. Subsidize watoto hao. Hebu tupigie viongozi makofi tena. tayari imeingia 60000 alafu mheshimiwa chome utumie mheshimiwa shake message mwambie anadaiwa 10000 nakosa kushika simu pengine yako kwa mkutano tutabidi tuzichangie ama namna gani maka tuweze acha shortage hapa lazima tumalize mambo yetu basi niseme mambo machache la kwanza nataka nichukue nafasi tena kuna watu wawili wa muhimu sana ama vitengo vya watu wawili wa muhimu sana ni vizuri tu watambue. Hii shule ya Dr. Agri. Katika hizo vitengo viwili niko na kitengo cha alumni. Na niko na kitengo cha community ya Sungululu. Ambapo community ya Sungululu leo hapa kuna wenyekiti wa vijiji. Ambapo vijiji tano vinafanya Sungululu sublocation. Kuongeza na hapo kuna BOM chair wa Sungululu Primary. Ambapo hawa ndiyo wanaweza sema hii shule iko kwao. Nilikuwa nimewaomba pia leo waje tushirikiane pamoja. So kama chairman wa Sungululu BOM na chairman wa, sung, wa Sungululu Sabloke, najua Mwangemi anaweza wakilisha. Leona Mwangemi hapa. Kama anaweza fika hapa mbele asalimie tu. Ni vyema tutambue wale ambao wana wame, wame walipatiana hii shamba hata nikijua kwamba shamba hili liko, li, li, liko kwa jina la kanisa la kianglikana lakini community inaongozwa na na wenye kitu wa vijiji alafu na jirani yetu ambaye ni Sungululu Primary na nafikiri Sungululu Primary started before the high school ama the high school started before the primary which one started first the primary started earlier so primary ilipoanza ndio Sungululu Primary ndio ile tunaona pale one of the oldest schools around So jina na jina tu sababu ya time na pengine na jambo Okay all protocols observed mimi naitwa Amos Mwasi BOM chair Sungul Primary School Yangu leo ni kuwapongeza na kuwatolea shukurani walimu ambao walishirikiana na wanafunzi na kupata matokeo mazuri Asante Ah uh, basi mimi majina yangu ni Noel Henry Mwangemi uh, nimesimama kuwakilisha Uh, vijiji vya Sungululu sublocation kwa niaba uongozi wa vijiji. Uh, pongezi sana shule yetu ya Dr. Agri. Pongezi sana mheshimiwa wetu Mwashako na viongozi wote ambao wameendelea kutajwa katika ngazi tofauti tofauti. Mungu awabariki sana na tuendelee kuombeana. Ah, hiyo ni community ya Sungululu. Mimi imesemekana ama mnatambua kwamba ni one of the old students hapa na tuko na mwenyekiti wetu wa Dr. Agri High School alumni sasa nitakupatia dakika mbili samahani najua tungekuwa na time nzuri na pia utambue wale alumni wote wako hapa lakini wakati anasalimia si alumni kama mko msonge hapa mbele tuwaone tu watu wapatie nafasi ya kujitambulisha but if you are a Dr. Agri alumni kindly come forward kuja hapa juu ungekuja hapa juu bwana na nani unaongelea tupigie makofi Mr. Kofia yeye ni chairman wale ambao walisoma hapa 
na wale waliosoma hapa ni wengi tu mpaka my late father John Mwakubona alisoma hapa ile iliitwa intermediate 1952 babangu alisoma hapa eh, basi mgeni wetu wa heshima all protocols observed jina vile mmesikia Peter Kofia nilikuwa hapa 1978 paka 83 na kwa niaba alumina ya association tunapongeza walimu pamoja na shule na wote ambao wamehusika katika matokeo haya nafikiri alumina sote tunaweza kuwevu mahali tuko we are proud of this school na tutaendelea ku support program zile zote ziko ambazo zinaendelea na hata sisi hatujawacho nyuma tuko na contribution yetu tumeweka asante ni sana na wale ambao walikuwa hapa tu 2022 tunawakaribisha maana wanapo transit kuelekea universities na other institutions of higher learning wakumbuke msingi ule uliwekwa na Dr. Agri High School the foundation was laid by Dr. Agri so whatever success mtapata kule mjue Dr. Agri msisahau pale popote mtakapoenda karibuni sana kwa alumni asante Makofi ya Alumni Association. Sasa wanafunzi your all potential alumni. Sasa mkimaliza msitoroke. Si sawa eh? Ili the future events like this one mnakuja. Na najua tuko na utuko wengi lakini sio wote waliweza. Amba mwana hapa many of them are the officials wa hii association. Kwa walimu kuna changamoto mgenetu wa heshima, changamoto kubwa na nafikiri tumekuwa na kikao na wewe lakini kando najua wewe utasema yale ya waziri ambaye amekutuma nataka kwanza niseme leo siku ya leo hata kama waziri hajafika tuko na na able representative wa waziri jana muda wa saa sita hivi saa saba nilikuwa kwa ofisi ya waziri alinipigia simu akasema niende kwa sababu kulikuwa na a new development ikawa kwamba leo saa hiyo nilipofika akanionyesha simu akanambia hii simu nimepigiwa na rais ikasemekana kwamba lazima leo akaombwa na rais ampeleke mahali ndio maana yake sasa akanipigia akaniambia there is a chance i may not make it lakini nikishindwa kufika nita make sure i have nimetumana ujumbe wangu kwa hivyo hata kama waziri hayuko nataka nichukue nafasi kumshukuru waziri sana sababu yeye alikubali wakati nilimuomba aje kuwa mgeni wetu wa heshima hapa haku sita alinambia if since it is the best school in the region mimi I want to be associated with that school. Na nimshukuru sana kwa sababu haku wajua mawaziri wana mambo mengi. Immediately akanambia within a week I'll give you a date na kwa kweli akatupatia tarehe ya leo. Na wakati nikiandikia waziri nilipoona waziri pia niliandika barua nyingine ikaenda kwa PS Belio. Na nikaandika nyingine ikaenda kwa msali wa Mudavad. Sasa siku nimeenda kukumbusha msali wa Mudavad anipe tarehe tukakutana na governor siku hiyo kwa msali wa Mudavad naye pia akatuhakikishia akasema ataangalia kalenda yake naye atembee aje aone hii shule ambayo inafanya vyema so leo kutokuja kwa waziri wanasema kuvunjika kwa mwiko si mwisho wa kupika nini ugali sasa mgeni wetu wa heshima nataka urudishe shukurani zetu kubwa kwa waziri maana he has this school at heart he really is looking forward tena kuja hapa na joe utasema hayo kuna yale aliniambia jana lakini sitaki kuyasema kwa sababu i may preempt your speech But I'm so excited that he alikutuma wewe. Sasa kwa sababu umetumwa na mambo matatu nataka kusema uyachukue na najua utampelekea hata kama nimemwambia but it is important I say kwa huu mkutano. La kwanza mgeni wetu heshima hii shule umesikia upungufu wa walimu. Kama kuna jambo ambalo limenipeleka TSC mara nyingi kama kuna jambo limenipeleka kwa ofisi ya waziri mara nyingi ni ishu ya upungufu wa walimu si Dr. Agri tu bali upungufu wa walimu katika sub county yetu na katika sana sana undani constituency. Kwa hivyo mgeni wetu wa heshima. Kama kuna jambo lambalo najua wazungu wanasema ni low hanging fruits. Yaani yale matunda ambayo huhitaji ku, 
kukwea mti eh hey, matunda unayatunda ukiwa chini tunaomba matunda ya kwanza pengine hata katika mazungumzo yako leo na najua director TSC wa county yuko hapa mambo mengine si ya kungoja ama namna gani haya walimu mtu sote tu haraka haraka walimu 20 na kitu out of a population of 1.8 it is truly an a shame and it does not aga well for a country that prides to be you know to prioritize education kama mambo ya walimu najua pengine leo tutapata majibu but I want to commit mimi kama mjumbe wa eneo hili ambapo shule hii iko hapa kama kuna jambo tutalivalia njuga ni jambo la walimu hawa na nilikwambia mgeni wa heshima kando na kutupatia walimu wa kutosha kuna walimu hapa wameserve kama BOM teachers wamekuwa wakifundisha wakijitolea wakilipwa na wazazi wakati mnapotupatia walimu hao mtawaandika permanent and pensionable walimu wa kwanza wa kukua considered wasitoke mbali wawe ni walimu ambao wameketi hapa leo hapa tuko na walimu wamebobea wametupatia minsko za ajabu ajabu na bado hawajaandikwa yani za juu sana na hawajaandikwa na TSC so madam TSC director and our chief guest hiyo ni mambo kidogo mnaweza piga simu tu leo na within 2 3 weeks wapate barua ama namna gani walimu wa BOM simsimame tu waone tena hapo tu atamstoke nje wale walimu ambao wameajiriwa na, na, na wazazi simameni tu just to address this point kwamba tuko wengi walimu hawa wote ambao wameajiriwa na wazazi. Naomba ili jambo mlishughulikie kwa haraka, wapewe barua. Hawa si wakupeleka JSS. Ama mara kwenda JSS. Hawa si wakupeleka wapi? Junior. Hawa ni wakufundisha hawa watu ambao wamekuwa ketini walimu wao. La pili ambalo linapatana na hilo, na wakati mnakumbuka Dr. Agri, I have seen my principals here. I know Mwangeka Secondary School. Chief guest ningependa una kill hai kuna mwangeka secondary school ama mwangeka girls pia iko na changamoto ya walimu St Mary's ina hiyo changamoto kanoni kituri iko na changamoto all my schools in this constituency na niko na list there's a list of heads kesha madam Mwabwasi shared with me shortage ya walimu wote katika sub county yetu hiyo report iko kwa, kwa, kwa waziri iko kwa PS iko kwa TSC CEO madam Masharia so i want to believe that we will sort out the issue of uh, teachers katika sub county na county yetu jambo lingine mheshimiwa mgeno heshima nilimweleza waziri jana hii allocation ya walimu mnatumia population it is disadvantaging taita tavet kwa sababu kama ukenda primary schools zetu na secondary schools ambazo zinatakana zifanye masomo mengi utapata secondary school ni ndogo ndio iko na watoto mia lakini iko na watoto walimu wanne na walimu wanne hawezi fundisha masomo yote kumi na kitu. So we must relook at that formula ya ku allocate walimu. Madam Director TSC na mgeni wetu Heshima. Hata kama population ni ndogo, there is a, the school should you have to provide a minimum number ya, ya teachers in every school for a school to be called a school for it to function well. So hayo ni mambo ambayo nimezungumza na waziri and I'm sure pengine mgeni wetu Heshima yuko na majibu. La pili infrastructure challenges CDF haiwezi fanya kazi zote CDF hata tukigawa namna gani na mnajua kumekuwa na changamoto ya CDF lakini mshukuru rais kwamba paka leo tume receive CDF almost 98% na nzuri wananchi wajue kwamba pesa ya CDF sasa imekuja yote najua kwa sisi zingine zimepata pesa yote sasa kwa sababu pesa zimekuja kuna mipango tulikuwa tuko nayo ya, ya kupeana kujenga shule zetu ama kuboresha lakini niseme kwamba pesa ya CDF peke yake haitaweza kutatua changamoto za shule. So wenetu wa heshima. Kuna pesa tumeweka katika bajeti ya kitaifa ya, ku, ya kufanya infrastructure development in our schools. Sisi kama wajumbe na tumeongea na wenzangu tutaangazia sana ugao wetu kama taita taveta. Hatua kubali sisi tunaambiwa tu tutumie CDF na pesa hii ambayo tumeweka kwa ministry inaenda kujenga mashule maeneo mengine. We will be on the, in the forefront to make sure mgao wetu na umekuja katika county yetu. So hilo ulibebe na umeona Dr. Agri challenges zenye wako nazo. This is the biggest school in Taita Taveta County. Kwa hivyo si shule tu ambayo ya mwashako hii shule imepita kiwango changu. Hii ni shule ya wabunge wote, hii ni shule ya gavana, hii ni shule ya women rep, hii ni shule ya senate ya seneta ndio kwa sababu nataka kuomba wenzangu na gavana wacha hii shule tu adopt 
kama shule yetu sote ili sasa kila changamoto ya hii shule tuwe tukiwahusisha sasa nakuomba mchea manobio wewe wakati unaandika barua na mwenye na secretary msiniandikie mbunge peke yake muandikie hawa wadosi wote manake watoto wa hapa ni watoto wa hii shule has brought pride to the whole county and to the whole region by extension hasa kwa hivyo sasa hii shule ime overgrow mwashako sasa nawaomba tu mkiguswa mheshimiwa bwire na mheshimiwa chome hata mkiona mnaza extend a classroom nimeomba wanipatie classroom pia ya CDF wajenge hapa hasa watu avoi mkiona mheshimiwa chai mheshimiwa bwire wataveta na mheshimiwa chome na mheshimiwa shaka wamejenga darasa hapa msiwapure na mali ni kwa sababu kuna watoto wenu hapa watu mwatatu si mko hapa watu avoi mko watu wataveta mko so naomba wabunge wenu wanialoketie darasa moja moja hapa dr agri So mpige makofi jamani. Na mkia locate darasa moja moja alafu tuongee ile story ya watoto wa community. Wakati mimi nachukua 45 wa undani nao wananiletea wengine wataveta. Unajua kuna shule najua kule Mwatate Voi na Taveta. Watoto wanakosa kufanya vizuri kufikia malengo ya kuja Dr. Agri kwa sababu ya changamoto. Hasa hao watoto tuwachukue wote wa county nzima tuwalete hapa. Hasa naomba darasa. Na najua mwalimu mkuu amepiga makofi na bishop wako hapa hilo ataliombea mtanyoyo zenyu nyoyo zitalainika darasa tutapata kutoka kwao na mimi niseme katika CDF ya undani nataka niseme nilikuwa nimeketi na chairman wangu ambaye yuko pale sema mama chairman committee yangu ya CDF wa majority of them are here tumekubaliana juzi niambiwa wafanye mkutano wa dharura na siwezi kuja dr Chagri bila chochote kando na hii pesa cash tumetoa hapa tumekubaliana kwamba mwaka huu Tunatenga milioni kumi, ije hapa kwa sababu ya performance ya watoto. Sasa hiyo milioni kumi, mwalimu tutaketi tuandikie barua nzuri ya kusema hiyo milioni kumi, ifanye nini. Lakini kwa moyo wangu ningetamani iende kujenga madarasa. Lakini mkiamua lengine pia sina shida. Lakini kwa moyo wangu hiyo milioni kumi, wakati tunapata mgao wa pesa CDF wa mwaka huu ambao mwaka wa serikali umeanza hii Julai. Wakati tume receive ile pesa ya kwanza itakayo kuja tutaleta milioni kumi hapa Dr. Agri ili ifanye maendeleo hapa. Kabla nimalize kuna walimu hapa na wawakilishi wao wamekuja. Niko na NATO officials hapa. Niko na kupeto officials hapa. Na kama NATO officials na kupeto officials msimame mwalimu kama mko. Niliona eh, eh, kuna yule eh, naona kupet nat unajua hiyo wakilishi walimu wako hapa walikuwa wameniomba waziri walikuwa natamani sana waje waketi na waziri na mimi nikawa nimemwambia waziri jana kwamba wakati unapofika dr Chagri mkutano wa kwanza utafanya na walimu wa, wa viongozi wa walimu na he, was, he said just that now angeza kufika lakini he had accepted kuja na kuketi na wali, na, na viongozi wa walimu maana kuna maswala mimi nikiyaeleza ketin ketin tupigie makofi anapoketi mimi nikiyaeleza wanaweza sema ni hadithi ni you know, wanasema pendo na dadada zaidi wanazasema hivyo lakini wakiasikia kwa wawakilishi wa walimu kando na sisi wanasiasa na viongozi pengine watayatilia mkazo na mheshimiwa bwire amesema hapa mambo ya hardship allowance mgeni wetu heshima kama kuna jambo ambalo linaturudisha nyuma hii shule si 8.6 iliyopata juzi ilikuwa ipige 9.04 si ni kweli si kweli mlikuwa mfikisha 9.04 kama ni hadi ni hadi shipu wale ama wangekuwa wamepata hadi shipu last year imagine kama wanafunzi waliona basi wakaingia kichaa je hawa wangepata hadi shipu allowance si wangeingia kichaa squared waka walimu hasa walimu hawa wakipata hadi shipu allowance wanaingia kichaa squared na hii kichaa squared mimi naona kama tunaenda kufaulu hasa na nyinyi mnihakikishie mambo yakienda sawa kicha squared hapa tufike 9.1 eh, kila shule iongeze kiwango fulani lakini nilimweleza waziri anajua he had promised us kuna mambo wanafanya but the beauty of it mgeni wetu Ashima amesema bado waziri alikam hajakuja leo i think siku ile atakanyaga hapa tutakuwa na nafasi nzuri ya one on one walimu mketi na yeye viongozi waketi na yeye ili sasa mambo hayo ayatumbulie hapa hapa oi kutumbulia ayajibu hapa hapa sawa jamani nikimalizia sasa kiswahili kizungu niko na mambo mengi 
wakati nikisoma hapa nipeane tu story ndogo hii shule haikuwa hivi principal alisema kwamba watu walikuwa wanaenda university wanne the truth of the matter in 1997 ambapo mwaka mwaka tulimaliza hapa that is year ndo tulivunja record na wale ambao si kama hh bado iko na kama na iko eh kuna kibao ilikuwa imewekwa hapo kitambo si kama bado iko role of honor bado iko ile role of honor ilianza 1997 ni kweli si kweli the first name in appear hapo anaitwa Francis Mwakiret he was the first student in this school kupata A minus and ndio ndo alitushinda wakati huo he was number one. alafu number two ambaye alinishinda na huwa namwambia mpaka leo siko nishindeze shindere baba ni waziri katika serikali ya wakuja na yuko hapa waziri uko hapa waziri usonge hapa mbele wa huyu kuja waziri huyu ndiye alikuwa namba 2 alipata B plus strong that that year 1997 na sasa mimi nilikuwa nimemshinda moko alafu akanishinda hiyo nyingine sasa 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 si miaka yetu ndo tulianza kuonyesha dalili ya BD huyu akawa namba 2 those years lakini bwana hiyo ilinishinda shinda vipi <laughs> Nilikuwa mkali yeye alinishinda moku kwa sababu alinishinda moku mara moja tu. So ni lazima ningemshinda kwa final exam. Thank you. Sasa ni waziri wa elimu ndio katika serikali yetu ya county inayoongozwa na governor Andrew Mwadimi. Tupigie makofi dadangu Gloria Monikombo. Wakati alikuwa mdogo sana kwa hivi. Alikuwa msichana mrembo sana. Na bado urembo huko ama amjaona. Si urembo ukiwa una, una ai sasa alafu mimi nikawa number 3. So the only three students who made it to university 1997 ni Mwakiretu who is a lawyer today, Mheshimiwa Gloria ambaye ni Mheshimiwa Waziri na mimi. And that was a record. It was celebrated in the whole of this area. Then after tukapotea potea, then from 2 or 3 to 4 tukaanza kurudi juu kidogo, then decision to change the school to a boys school, ikaja 2 to 8 it became a full boys uh, fully boys school. Sasa tunaona matokeo mazuri. So ni we really congratulate the students. Lakini kile ambacho kinanifurahisha kando na matokeo ni damu ya hawa watoto iko level ya juu sana. Si kama mnajua hivi. Wale ambao wanafanya research I think it's important we do a research on these students tujue ni nini kina contribute kwa ni damu yao kuwa level ya nyingine. Our time mkutano kama huu tungekuwa tunatembea tembea we don't care. But in Taita Taveta County the only school for the longest time imekuwa na amani hakujakuwa na unrest hakujakuwa na tabia potovu za kutaka kuchoma shule hii ndio shule peke yake ndani ya county yetu ambayo kwa muda mrefu haijafanya fujo and i think that is something we must celebrate today hii ni damu yenu iko level ya juu sana na mimi nasema Mungu awabariki tu yani ile ile grade unataka kupata upate tu Ah, watoto wabarikiwe mpaka wafanye nini washangae wapite kulivu kuliku, zaidi ya vile wanavyojua potential yao because they are, ex, they, are, they are demonstrating that a boys school can be disciplined a boys school can be focused a boys school can be determined to pursue their ambitions tupigie tena makofi boys you make me proud so keep it up keep it up wazaz Najua kuna cost of living. Si kama ilifika kwenu. Hii mtu anaitwa cost of living alifika kwenu. Sasa hii cost of living hali ya maisha imeenda juu. Lakini nataka kuwashukuru. Kando na kupandika kupanda hali ya gharama ya maisha bado karo mnalipa. Hata kama kuna changamoto lakini if their parents who are determined kuona kwamba dreams za watoto wao zimekuwa realize ni wazazi wa Dr. Agri. Let's appreciate our parents. Mgeni wetu Heshma, hao wazazi, changamoto ni nyingi. But they know wakati wamefundisha mtoto wao, mtoto akiingia Dr. Agri, hata kwa mzazi anajua hiyo ni future ambayo anatengezea mtoto na by extension unajitengezea pension. Hasa wazazi na washukuru. I know it is difficult. I know ni ngumu lakini endelea nyinyi kufunga kongo hapa mkumbo endelea kufunga ki mkumbo si bure biblia inasema na baba sikofu yuko hapa tabu yenu si tabu yenu si bure hawa watoto 
watampangusa machozi hawa watoto watamtoa aibu hawa watoto watawaletea heshima kijijini siku ile nilipata barua ya kwenda university my late dad alitembea tofauti kule kwetu mwoko najua watu wa nyumbani wako hapa walking style ya babangu ilibadilika hata kanisani hatoi ushuhuda lakini hiyo jumapili nataka afike atoe ushuhuda aseme mke mwana mlungu anaoneka ni mamangu marehemu anasema ah jiweke dada loli mlungu hao watoto watawaletea heshima uchaguliwa hata mzee wa kanisa kwa sababu ya hao watoto so endelea kufunga nini lakini ni waombe pia mkiona kuna mzazi mmoja wawili wanataka kuharibia shule please msiweke watu kama hao mimi najua kuna watu wanaandika mpaka kwa mitandao hadi doctor agri oh doctor agri this doctor agri that sasa wewe unaenda kuandika kwa mtandao na mtoto wako yuko hapa na hapa baba askofu anakuja kila mara akiwaombea hawa watoto wafanikiwe sasa mbona unataka kurudisha baraka nyuma it is not easy to get this performance it is not cheap ni raisi kutoa performance kama hii hawa hawa limu saa nyingine saa 9 usiku leo saa 9 wewe alikuwa anafundisha watoto saa 9 usiku bado mnafundisha saa usiku bado mnafunza mpaka imagine saa kumi asubuhi mwalimu wako darasani na chaki anafundisha watoto alafu wewe watoto imagine wazazi 1100 wazazi wa watoto hao wote zaidi ya 1100 parents alafu wawili ndio wanakimbia ofisi Nairobi kwenda kusema hadi shule shule sijui hivi shule vile si ni kuombe tu kabla ufike Nairobi kabla uandike kwa mitandao sichukue namba yangu saa hii 072 ani unipigie mimi simu ili tujadiliane tuone kama kweli ni changamoto ya karo tutaona vipi tutasaidiana kuliko inoni evana wose viko sababu de kunda director umanye de kunda waziri umanye vei da lipishwa pesa rabasi tasa basi de mpoi hii basi imeingiza watoto kichaa wacha iwe hapa na tungangane lakini nimalize kwa kusema form 1 najua sijatoa pesa ya basar lakini tutangazie kwamba pesa zimekuja sasa wazazi wa form 1 I think next week chama next week next week tutakuja kwa location tuwajazia tutawapea form muende nazo maana yake tunataka mmoja muandikishe tu majina ya watoto tuwapatie pesa maana yake pesa iko sasa wazazi wa form 1 kama mko hapa next week i think from this sunday tutatangaza makanisani na firimbi zipigwe on wednesday next week we'll come to all locations za undani ili tuchukue majina ya form 1 wote watakao jaza watakao jandikisha majina tutawapatia pesa sawa jamani kwa hiyo mengi nataka kuwashukuru sana na nichukue nafasi hii na DC anakuja atarudishia bwana DC aendelee kutoka hapo ili sasa tumalizie others Mungu awabariki may God bless you wale wanafunzi ambao wamemaliza form 4 na ambao wengine nimewaona hapa wale ambao tuna celebrate your performance kama unatoka undani constituency naomba utaandikishe jina kwa ofisi yangu maana yake nina pesa kidogo nataka kuwasaidia mkienda university kila mwaka utoa pesa ya watoto wanaoenda university sasa kama you come from this constituency andikisha jina kwa ofisi alafu niseme kando na kuandikisha tu jina kuanzia tarehe moja mpaka tarehe mshaka tarehe moja tu tarehe moja tarehe nne tutazungu kuna undugu mentorship NGO ambayo itatembea katika sub county zetu zote wakikutana na watoto ambao wanaenda form 1 kutakuwa na mafundisho wa seminar for all our students ambao wana join form 1. Wataanza hapa undani, waende Mwatate, waende Voi, waende Taveta. Sasa mwambie ndugu zenu na marafiki zenu wale wote ambao walipata alama ya C+ na kwenda juu. There will be a seminar for to prepare you to join the university. Ili mkienda vio vikuu, msiende mkatulete down. Sawa jamani. Karibu bwana DC. Mungu awabariki. May God bless Dr. Agri. May God bless all of us. Asante sana. Thank you so much uh, dugu yangu mheshimiwa Mwashako kwa hayo najua tunampenda sana tumpigeni makofi Nafasi hii najua masaa yameenda sana ningeuliza kabla sijamwalika au governor ningeuliza tu kuna wale wanashughulikia mambo ya mashule County Director of Education TSC na Ministry Tafadhali ni tu ni vizuri tu watu wajue masomo inaongozwa na akina nani. Please. Ujeni tu haraka haraka ili mujiintroduce 
e, hao ndio wanashughulikia mambo ya masomo kai, e, katika Taita Taveta County Chief guest uh, our honorable governor board members members of the political leadership parents association our principals that were invited our parents our teachers our head teachers our members from the interior our officers from the interior our students good afternoon good afternoon again yes before i say anything let me invite my our sister body that is the tse to greet you before i introduce others Our guest of honor, all invited guests, all protocols observed. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, Santi sana kwa kuwa hapa. I would want to start by introducing my colleague. He can raise his hand. This is uh, Mr. Wasonga. He's the TSC sub county director in Wondanyi. Uh, Taita Subcounty. My name is Dr. Esther Njiru. I'm the TSC County Director. Maybe before I hand over the mic, I just want to appreciate what we are celebrating today. I want specifically, because as TSC, we are the ones who employ the teachers, I want to appreciate the work that the teachers have done. Uh, indeed, teachers are the catalyst for the performance of students. The teachers are the mentors. The teachers are the role models. So to kisherekea the efforts and the achievement of the students, we are also celebrating the achievement of the teachers. And uh, we have had a lot of uh, the requests by your leaders about the need for teachers. Let me just say that teacher shortage is everywhere in the country. A hundred, over 100,000 teacher shortage is there in this country. Uh, in this particular institution, we are recognizing that you have a teacher shortage of almost 60 teachers. And uh, because of budget limitations, we are not able to employ every, every teacher. But parents, I, I appreciate the support that you're giving this school. By employing over 20 teachers, I think we were told there are 26 teachers. I appreciate that, uh, and TSC also appreciates that, because it is that that will bring the performance. Otherwise, God bless you. Ajani Rudisha, Mike. Thank you very much, Dr. Uh, at this juncture, let me also now invite uh, our officials from the Ministry of Education to introduce themselves before I say something thereafter. Uh, Jilo Justin Kaduda, uh, Your Honor, uh, the Sub County Director of Education. In my office, we have other three officers. Uh, uh, I'm Dr. John Kilonzo, the Sub County Quality Assurance and Standards Officer. I'm Bidala Mohammed, Assistant Director of Education. Thank you very much. Those are officers from both Ministry of Education and Teacher Service Commission. I believe you can take your seats. So I'm standing here on behalf of the County Director of Education, who the, the RDE is aware that was uh, unwell since yesterday. So I'm standing in the gap for him. Let me take this opportunity, sir, to say as a county, we are very proud of this school because this is our jewel in terms of uh, good performance, co-curricular performance and curriculum performance. And you have witnessed the level of discipline is very high. You have also witnessed the level of cooperation that the principal of this school has brought on board from the principals that came to witness this occasion, both from the primary and the secondary. We have seen the coordination among all the stakeholders that are supporting this great institution. So we thank you for coming to honor us to, uh, uh, to oversee the celebration of the awards. Thank you very much, parents, for also coming. And all those that have come, today ours is just, just to say we welcome you 
to Dr. Agri, our jewel in Taita Taveta County. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Mpige makofi. Sasa nachukua nafasi hii kumualika gavana wetu ambaye ni tunampenda sana. Karibu sana our governor uzungumze na watu wetu. <coughs> Asante sana bwana DCC. E, na kutambua ketini ketini sote, sote tuketi. Natambua regional education officer bwana Kangogo wabunge wote meza kuu wazazi wanafunzi nyote na mtambua Mungu ni mwema kila wakati kwa ex student hapa eh, Shadrack Mtungi na Gifton Mkaya waziri wa afya pia yeye alikuwa ni mwanafunzi hapa mtanyosha tu mkono angalau kwa sababu tuko kwa kwa muda asanteni sana asanteni sana e, hii shule kwa ule ukweli nimeitambua sana nimeitambua hata ndio maana nakumbuka mwaka jana baada ya kura kulikuwa na mabaki ya school fees ya wanafunzi kama na moja hapa tuliamaliza mbio mbio sana na vile vile kuna wanafunzi na moja ambao tunaposponsor hapa hata bwana headmaster ninajua kuna hela about 1.3 million hatujalipa tunangojea exchequer si unajua baada ya budget mahela uchelewa chelewa lakini agasti hela ikiingia usiofukuze hao watoto tutakuletea hiyo 1.3 halafu hongereni zinamuingilia headmaster wenu na walimu wenu board of management PTA wazazi na wanafunzi ni kazi nzuri mmefanya ni kazi nzuri manake wamepata mpaka grade some of the best in the country TSC TSC tafadhali angalia hawa walimu hata msifanyishe interview unawapiga promotion unawadunga promotion hapa hapa na wasiende kokote wadunge promotion na watu hii ni kazi nzuri sana wamefanya hata headmaster naye pia mwongeze jiwe moja juu manake wamefanya kazi nzuri pwani nzima wameongoza vile vile ukiangalia Kenya some of the critical subjects they are among the top in the country walimu kongole kongole kufundisha hesabu alafu upate hiyo marks ufundishe physics biology upate hiyo ni kazi kubwa mmefanya hata ndio maana usubuhi manake kuna wakati ndisema lazima nitamletea ngombe basi ngombe yenu dume yenu iko hapa hapa nishaleta usubuhi sasa nyinyi ndio mtajipanga na wanafunzi mule ile ngombe vile mnavyotaka nyinyi wenyewe you have done us proud you have done us proud tumeshukuru sana just the way mbunge wa voi amesema benchmarking i think most of the school in this county they should come for benchmarking just right here mimi nakumbuka wakati nilikuwa nasoma Kenyatta hata watoto wa kwanza kwanza kwenda university hapa nakumbuka walikuwa ni mmoja tu vile mbunge wa undani amesema lakini sasa hivi you have overturned everything you're the best na tuendelee hivyo hivyo makio discipline is paramount wanafunzi mkiwa na he, discipline hakuna kitu ambacho hakiwezekani unajua wakati tulikuwa tunacheka na hui regional education officer pale <laughs> alikuwa anapigwa simu ananiambia kule ngala kule kilifi watoto walikuwa nachoma shule tena baada ya wazazi kufika pale wanajadiliana wazazi tena waka, watoto wakaruka kwa dometi nyingine wakaanza kuchoma hizo tabia hatuzitaki if you want manake these four years which you are going to spend here actually they are the determinants of your life kama mwenyezi Mungu 
alikupa miaka themanini na zaidi hizi miaka nne ni za muhimu sana na vile mnavyofanya that is the right direction alafu mkiongezea na discipline basi mmefunga mchezo mimi kama governor wa hili jimbo la Taita na Taveta we want to support education because during our time i remember we used to be top 10 countrywide in terms of performance and because agri dr agri has set the pace ni lazima pia tujaribu kote kote tufuate pesi ya dr agri na ni tuweke kama ni mazawadi watoto wakifanya mzuri wakishinda wapatiwe zawadi ya kusawasawa na ionekane maybe hao wengine wengine wanaofanya mbaya we can boost them up <laughs> yangu sio mengi hivi nishamaliza asante sana <laughs> asante sana uh, ndugu yangu wa governor tumpigeni makofi ashamaliza sio sasa ni nafasi hii ni nafasi hii sasa tumwalike mgeni wetu wa heshima ili aje atuzungumzie akizungumza kama waziri wa education karibu ndugu yangu thank you very much asante sana okay um your excellency the governor mshimiwa handru mwatime honorable Tanson Mwashako, the member of parliament Ehundani um, the member of parliament Foy honorable Chome our member of parliament Tafeta Wakili eh, Puire our honorable member of a parliament women rep honorable Lydia Aika our chief principal to be I thought he was a chief principal right who may see like senior principal our chair of the board of management professor Kuyo our leaders seated with me today here all our great teachers our parents our students invited guests ladies and gentlemen good afternoon good afternoon once again now um, my name is luca kangogo the regional director of education coast i'm standing in for our cabinet secretary in charge of education honorable ezekiel machuku ladies and gentlemen uh, Wasiri was prepared to come to this school today. It is until yesterday evening that he called me to say that um, His Excellency the President had called him uh, to be in his uh, join the people uh, tour uh, in parts of our country. And therefore he told me to step in as the regional director to represent him today and he has sent me a first and foremost with his warm greetings are you receiving was his greetings pika makofi sasa asante sana asante sana and then he told me to mention to you this that uh, because the change took place at the 11th tower and it could not be avoided um he say that uh, i tell you today that in the next four weeks or so he will come here and he will come and see our students and he will come and greet everybody here our teachers our students the board of management and everyone here he wants to have the touch 
of this learning institution. And he told me to mention this, that it is, it is the great performance, the sterling performance of this school that is inviting friends to this school. So we appreciate that it is the, your own performance that makes great friends, friends and, and mightier friends to come by. Therefore, the challenges you talk of here, as you continue doing well, will be sorted out one by one. Um, in this congregation, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to make my remarks before I go through the speech of our CS. Ladies and gentlemen, our education office at the regional level is so pleased to be associated to Taita Taveta County. I think I'm making a very important remark that all of us will listen because I'm not always here. Yeah, it is, it's a rare opportunity for all of us to meet today here. And I'm saying as education office, um, we, ha we are very, very pleased to be associated to Taita Taveta County because you look at KCB performance, you look at KCSE performance in coast region, it is Taita Taveta at the lead. <laughs> I used the parable of A plane. We had 21 A's in coast region. Um, there was no A in Tana River. There wasn't even a single A in Lamo. There was no A in the whole of Kilivi. There's only one A in Kuala. Uh, so after one is 20 now remaining. And then you find uh, out of 20, a nine going to Mombasa County. What is the remaining for Taita Taveta? Eleven is between uh, Kenyatta High School and Dr. Strong. Yeah. So all the time from the time I came to Coast Region in March, uh, we have been receiving our CS in the region and our principal secretary and our senior stakeholders of this country. And they have been in Kilivi, they have been in Kuala. But two weeks ago, I was with Wasiri, then he was telling me, it is time up that I go and, and stay in Taita Taveta and say thank you. But he told me, the fastest stopover is Dr. Agri. So, us in the region, we are very, very happy and delighted to see the great, great men the great, great men who are all round brought up and developed in this school, the students. Because today, when I came, I saw you clapping for me. <laughs> and then I saw the scouts here. I see our students very, very smart, prepared leaders. <clears throat> and um, I think this is the second school I'm making some, some speech today. Because I was making one in Nairobi school, where my son was, and they were just no different with you, because they had gotten only they they had gotten used, they had sustained the acquisition of ACE for a very long time. So for you, you are already there, and I want you, as you have reached that level, you have reached that capacity of showing shoulders to the other great schools in Kenya, you sustain that level. <laughs> Can I therefore, on behalf of the Minister of Education, uh, Coast Region, take this opportunity to congratulate Dr. Strong to be strong always. Yeah. Let me turn to um, the Honorable Member of Tafet Taita Urundani, Honorable Tansan. Tansan is a great leader. Because before I saw him, he has been calling me. He calls me. There is no other, there is no other member of parliament from Coast Region who has been calling me. It's only him I'm seeing for the first time today. 
Yeah, he bought us me about matters education, and Harley, Harley, Honorable Harley of Nyali, Honorable Harley, came to the office, uh, took a photograph with me, and said, "I want Nyali education to 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 rise up." And then for you, you've been calling. And then the other day, a member of parliament from Kinango called me to say. Uh, Wacha to onge chu ya kesi. Mina sema, bana taka kesi kwanza. Ongea elimu. <laughs> so, um, I'm very, very happy to, to meet you. You have, led, you have, you have already uh, for, uh, pioneered the way, and we shall have a cut as a goal so that we participate in matters education. And I want to assure every resident of Coast Region that um, instead of having stakeholders meetings, at sub-county, at county. I will take it a notch higher that we shall have regional dialogue on matters education. So I will be inviting and the greatest stakeholders in regional dialogue are members of parliament, members of county assembly, and everybody. And by the way, um, this is the direction we've been given uh, when we began the briefs on the the first Kenya Kwanzaa uh, uh, financial year, that all of us in education, we embrace upon all the regional stakeholders to discuss and chat way forward for their education in their region. So I will, we shall sit with the regional commissioner um, and the other leaders so that we shall tell you the date that we shall be having that uh, uh, locking date. Now I want to say, uh, to all our principals and all our management of our board that um, we register our learners online. Nowadays, in a, in a, a platform called NEMIS. I want all students in Coast Region, and in particular in this Dr. Strong, to be registered in NEMIS so that all of you, our students, access the government funding. Yeah, it is through proper registration that you are captured and you receive the government capitation. And you also receive the government a comprehensive health cover. Yeah, and uh, that one we shall be, we shall be helping all our learners so that they are not told to go home to look for school fees, yet uh, the government have got its share uh, to pay uh, the capitation. I want to appreciate the Minister of Education for that capitation in that connection. And to tell the board and parents that out of the 22,000 that the, the Minister of Education gives to our schools, our children, 5,000 is used to improve infrastructure. And that infrastructure is so much needed in this school. And I want at this juncture to appreciate the role of the chair of the board, who is none other than professor. It's good that you, you nominated professor to be the chair of this board. I think these A's are coming because of professor. He's a brilliant man. He's a brilliant man. You clap for professor. <laughs> professor, for your information, parents and teachers, and the students is not something that is gotten easily. People can talk talks. But let me tell you, professor talk in a coherent manner. Because he got the information, he got the skill, he got the message. He can pass the message. And not only passing the message, and implement that message. And we are happy, professor, to see what is happening in this school. This morning I was so happy that I was taken through the development plan of this learning institution that require huge and huge resources. But I am telling you, with the strategies that, you got, that you've already put in place, it will come and it will be implemented and this will be a wonderful school for you all. Let me tell all of you in this congregation today, representing the CS in charge of education here, 
I'm going to pass to him all the issues that you have told me because I, I was recording uh, accordingly the way he had told me record carefully so that in the evening you, you type and, and put into all um, the letters and then I, I sent to him through WhatsApp and I was uh, stealing the show by taking some photographs seated with this excellent governor I didn't want to avoid Honorable Tanson because he's like he's a great friend to Tanson. He told me you'll send the photograph where Tanson is and he's excellent the governor. So these issues you have raised, I'll pass to him, are coupled with the photographs, and then we shall discuss, I'll discuss with my boss on how these issues will be sorted out for the sake of implementation of a learning institution. I want them to say this, that my great parents, my colleague parents, are you there? From last year backwards, I used to say, I don't know any other parent who is serious in education than me. Because all along, I could have very little money and priority was paying school fees. I didn't want to, to waver around when my children are in schools. So I want to congratulate you parents for the great sacrifice you make to ensure your child is in school. Others have been sacrificing too much in such a way that you almost lose hope. But let me tell you, even those people who have money, when you tell them, give me money, they say, I don't have. Those who do not have, they say, I don't have. Until you get defeated, you don't know who has this money. <laughs> so it is good that we sacrifice and focus on what we have done, but the right choice is education of our children. Because it's a great generation coming up. I want to say that um, the current topic that we have now in, in the government, across all ministries, is growing of trees. You know, when you are here in uh, the environment of uh, Undani here, you can get cheated that uh, the place is so nice. It's like Europe, very green, yeah, with uh, a lot of trees. But I want to encourage all of us that let us grow trees so that we meet our share, our global share, as what the president has declared that we should have is it more than uh, 15 million billion trees eh? so every one of us let us grow trees all our schools in coast region those who are blessed with land uh, to have three seedling uh, nurseries so that uh, we plan i know when i gave out the report and i saw in kenya imagine coast region is, lead, is leading yeah, a lot of trees have been planted in Kwele. A lot of trees have been planted in Glivi. A lot of trees have been planted even here in Taitataveta. I planted around four alone at uh, Foy Girls High School the other time I came. So if I planted four when I came one day, what of the people who are here every day? They, we should plant trees so that we fight against climate change. We fight against desertification. We fight against desertification because I was seeing there is a lot of water in Guala and Lunga Lunga. And they are lacking trees. There are no trees here, down there, when you go to Foyi. There is no much water. But we time that time when there, are, there is rain, we hope to plant trees and protect. And then uh, I want then to move straight away to the CS, um, CS speech. But before I move to that, I want to reiterate uh, one fact here that uh, from uh, February up to now, we have been enjoying peace in our learning institutions. Um, and I'm appreciative to all the administration and management of all our learning institutions on the step up 
and way of administering that has assured us that we have peace and coexistence in all our learning institutions. But I saw a smoke panning somewhere this morning to a school, and I've told that school, if you don't want to be in school, um, go home for some two, three days, and now you will come back to school, we shall look at the way you come back. Because we don't want the students who are not disciplined. We appreciate and we feel at home when we are like in this school. But other schools you find, they score a mean of two, and then they don't want again to read. When you tell them, read for one hour, they go into arms and throw stones to teachers. <laughs> and you are told to read so that after that, we shall discuss, we shall debate on what points have you gotten after reading a page. So I appreciate our learning institutions. Allow me to go through the CS page. Um, so that we uh, climatize and complete the occasion of today. Uh, the speech by Honorable Sekchel Machogu, Cabinet Secretary, Minister of Education, during Prize Giving Day at Dr. Agri High School on 21st July 2023. Honorable Member of Parliament, Undanyi, Honorable Tanson, um, Tanson Mash. Mashoku, Mashoko, Mashako, uh, the County Director of Education, uh, Mr. Caliver, and the other education officers present, the officers from Teacher Service Commission, the chairperson and members of the School Board of Management, the, chief, the CEO of the school, the chief principal, our great teachers, Parents, invited guests, our great students, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon. It is with great pleasure and honor that I join you today to celebrate outstanding achievements of Dr. Agre High School in curriculum and co curricular activities. We thank you all for inviting us in the ministry to join the school fraternity and stakeholders in celebrating the various achievements of this learning institution. History of Dr. Akre High School dates back to 1951 as information gotten. As a mixed day school and later transited to a boys school only in 2008. And the current enrollment, given that information, is 1,818, and the status of your school is at extra county category with a teaching staff which is, uh, stands at 53 with an unteaching staff of more than 35. It is true to the school motto committed to excellence I acknowledge the effort of stakeholders that have yielded exemplary good results. We take this opportunity to thank God for his grace that has enabled the school to attain this remarkable milestone. Ladies and gentlemen, and the clergy, I acknowledge the concerted effort of stakeholders of Dr. Agri High School that has made the school soar to great heights. In 2022, the school excelled and was the national champion in basketball and first runners-up in East African Championship. The school is also a reputable, a, re a reputable center of excellence in the coast region. In the year 2022, Dr. Agri High School emerged as the top public secondary school in KCSE and attained a mean of 8.46. The transition rate to university being 9.98.33 is an encouragement and a great achievement. And out of 240 candidates 
two thirds six squared C plus an alpha. I commend the Port of Management for offering broad curriculum that exposes learners to a wide range of career opportunities. Special acknowledgement goes to Honorable Tanson Mashako Mwakuona, MB for Undani, for sponsoring on annual basis 40 needy students in the constituents to access education in this institution. To echo the words of the late Nelson Mandela, that education is the great engine of personal development. It is through education that the daughter of a person can become a doctor. The son of a mind worker can become the head of a mind. And that a child of a farmer can become the president of a great nation. It's with, it is what we make out of what we have, not what we are given, that separates one from, the, from another one. Ladies and gentlemen, education is critical in promoting political, social, and economic development of any country. It is a globally competitive education, training, research, and innovation. Four system for sustainable development. Ladies and gentlemen, as I conclude, I wish to acknowledge and appreciate the teaching and support staff for upholding high standards of discipline and high standards of workplace practices. Thank you for being good role models to our students and for enabling them to do their best. Thank you for pushing them to do better and for celebrating every single achievement. To the school management, I thank you for, invi for inviting us in the Minister of Education and the parents. We thank you for working in collaboration with the school and supporting the students to actualize the vision of Dr. Agri high school. Uh, thank you very much and may God bless you all. That is the speech from Honorable Ezekiel Machogu, the CS in charge of education. Asandene sana, may God bless you. Sumbigia magopitena. I'm happy to see all of you. Asandene sana. Uh, thank you very much, our, our guest of honor. Thank you to Mpige Makofi. Tunaerekea muisho wa tamasha yetu. Na katika, katika nafasi hii, nitamualika County Director of Education. Ili ukuje utueleze ni kwa sababu gani tuko hapa na awards ili tuongo uo... ah nataka kumpatia dakika moja awa governor kwa sababu anataka kuondoka awambie kwa heri okay asante sana bwana DCC eh, kidogo kuna mkutano wa kidharura na nangojewa so mtaniwa radhi mtaendelea na program otherwise nyote mmefika hapa nampa kongole 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 hiyo ni ishara ya kusupport elimu asante sana thank you very much our governor uh, tutamruhusu tu a, a, aondoke no. oh okay kidogo tu wanatahitaji picha Najua pia waziri anasema anataka evidence. Uh, tukimaliza picha 
tutamwalika wa county director of education ili atuongoze katika hicho kipindi Okay thank you very much our chief guest for that uh, auspicious uh, speech from our RD at this juncture we have the award ceremony that is going to be directed by our chief principal Mr Robert Aran so Mr Aran uh, tumefikia kitengo cha kupeana zawadi sasa kwa wanafunzi wa saizi na wale lomaliza mwaka jana na kwa vile governor anaraka kitu kwa kuondoka tungetaka piane za wadi moja mambili ndiyo tumfungue aweze kwenda so back to you master of ceremony let us identify a few categories we award so that we release the governor asante Patrick Msaga Gift Baraka Charles Mwakai Oliver Mwangemi Brian Nyambu Hamisi Mwabwagizo Nina Steven Naomba tusonge mbele tafadhali tutapokea zawadi zetu kutoka kwa mheshimiwa gavana Hiyo ni ya gift baraka kwa kuwa kiranja wa shule kwa miaka minne atakuwa anapewa zawadi yake ili atukumbuke popote pale atakwenda. Tumpigie makofi gift. Anayefuata ni Charles Mwakai. Charles Mwakai vile vile amekuwa waziri katika council yetu atapokea zawadi yake kutoka kwa gavana. Wapi makofi? Kisha tutapata Oliver Mwangemi. Pongezi kwako Oliver. Next ni Brian Nyambu. Kongole kwa kuwa kiranja. Hamisi Mwabwagizo. Pia amekuwa waziri katika masuala hayo ya elimu. Nina Steven Pongezi kwako Nina Steven Yes Haya waliopata zawadi kongole 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 lakini kama hamna taarifa huyu headmaster wenu tulikuwa tunasoma na university wakati mmoja na vile nilipofoma hata najua pia kwa governor tutafanya mambo mengi sana. Si sawa sawa. Thank you sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let me see what the governor. Mheshimiwa Bwire tafadhali. Mheshimiwa Bwire utaendelea kuwa zawadi hao wanaofuata. Naelezwa kwamba unafaa kupanda sehemu hii ambayo imetengwa rasmi kwa ajili ya shughuli hii inayofuata. Bruno Duncan Ni kiranja pia. 
anayefuata ni Hussein Mwatate Hussein Mwatate akifuatiwa na Newstone Digila Newstone Digila Samuel Mwaluga Ibrahim Sifa Samson Lenga Newstone Digila kama yuko Samuel Mwaluga Huyo anaitwa Samson Lenga Kongole kwako Akifuatiwa na Ibrahim Sifa Samson ameshapata yake Samuel Mwaluga Patrick Mwadime Kazungu Juma Hamisi Charo Patrick Mwadime Huyu ni Kazungu Juma Pongeze sana Kazungu Hamisi Charo akifuatiwa na Arnold Kori Tunaomba tuwarakishe tafadhali. Huyu anayekuja ni Hamisi Charo. Patrick Mwadime. Akifuatiwa na Arnold kisha tutapata Jibril Kiti, Isaac Changawa na Abdala Mwinyi. Jibril Kiti. Asante, asante. Inaonekana we mwingine hayuko. Tumpigie mheshimiwa Makofi kwa sababu ya kitengo hicho. Um, the second category is uh, the best students per class the year. 2022 form 2 form 3 and form 4 so um, the deputy count commissioner please award our best students the year 2022 form 2 roman bele muhammad juma gideon changu kindly yes. then form 3s jimmy fallon gift uledi Hassan Suma and from 4 Christopher Mumbo Karima Dan Kano Chieng Adam Amir kindly come in front so we start with position 1 Roman Bele tafadhali tumpigie makofi Muhammad Juma position 2 tafadhali tumpigie makofi So from 3 Hassan Suma position 3 Hassan Suma mchukulie madam Ayuko sasa ayuko sasa mchukulie tu Madam is taking the present on behalf of uh, Hassan Suma position 2 gift uledi Walimu tafadhali tuwe karibu Walimu then position 1 Jimmy Fallon tafadhali tumpigie makofi Fallon mm -hmm. 
Tumesifiwa wakati wa kuvuna tulichopanda umefika sasa tupige makofi form 3 that was form 3 form 4 position number 3 Adam Amir Congratulations we are waiting for your airplanes in the year 2023 KCSC Adam Amir position 2 Duncan Ocheng Bruno form 4 position number 2 we are waiting for those airplanes. Then position number one is Christopher Mumbo Karima. Congratulations, Karima. We are waiting uh, for that airplane in the year 2023 KCSE. Naomba mgeni wetu wa heshima sasa aweze kujongea ndo awazawadi wanafunzi wa mwaka 2022. Brian Ringo, Mwachedi, Moses, Joseph, Chawana, Simba, Newton, Kisanje. Ikiwa unanisikiza popote pale ulipo, tafadhali naomba usonge haraka upesi. Wanafunzi wa mwaka jana KCSC tafadhali njoni tumalize haraka mgeni anaongojea Kisanje Joseph kama uko Naomba tuwapigie makofi mazuri walipata alama ya A These students are going to be given a special award. It has never happened here. They'll each receive a tablet and a laptop. Let's appreciate them this time round. Tunaanza na Kisanje Joseph. Huyo ndo Kisanje alipata A minus. Let's appreciate Kisanje. He'll be receiving his tablet as he makes his way to the university this year, this September. Next is Newton Seda. Newton Seda had an A minus. And he is on his way to the university and he receives his first tablet ever. Chawana Joseph. Chawana had an A minus in KCSC. Kama mzazi wa Chawana yuko, ikiwa hayuko, tutaendelea. Next is Joseph Mwaziwe Kadilo. He had an A minus. Let's appreciate Kadilo. Usione wivu mzazi, toto wa mwenzio, mwaka utaka okuja itakuwa ni waku waku. Anafatiwa na Moses Mbashu. He was our last born last year. And of course, he earned himself an A minus. He also got a scholarship from the German embassy to pursue engineering in the university of his choice. Followed by Mwabili Newston. This is our first A in many years. Dr. Agri atukupata alama ya S constant. Lakini mwaka ulopita, mwabili Newston alionyesha kwamba inawezekana. 
Nafahamishwa kwamba atakuwa ni daktari. He's doing medicine this year. Ah. Professor pia ni mwanasayansi. Mheshimiwa Mwashako anasema kuna cheki yake baadaye. Mheshimiwa Bwiri ameahidi cheki ya shilingi ngapi mheshimiwa? Umesema 2020 asante sana. Tumpigie Makofi Newston. Thank you so much and congratulations. And then we had Brian Ringo. Brian Ringo emerged the best. And of course in Coast Province he was also the best with his first A. He gets a laptop and a tablet. He gets a laptop and a tablet. Narudi anasema hivi. Anapata laptop. Sijui laptop ni Kiswahili vile lakini kuna tableti. Asante. Kiparakatirishi. Hiyo. Mheshimiwa Mashako ameahidi check baadaye. Kwa hiyo Ringo umuone. Thank you so much our chief guest. Then we have the special awards. Naomba mheshimiwa Mashako upeane these special awards kwa wanafunzi nitakao waita. Na professor pia tafadhali. Prof na mheshimiwa Mashako mtapeana zawadi hii. Hii ni A plane ya chemistry. For mwanzo anao nisikiliza, A plane ya chemistry inawezekana. And A was from Moses Mbashu. Wakati wanaendelea na picha, kuna Newstone Mwabili. Kuna Brian Ringo. Newstone Seda na kathalika. Naomba professor na mwishimi watafadhali na chief guest wetu pia. Ok, asante, shukran. Ata principal pia naomba uwa zawadi ya watoto. These are special recognition here. Newstone Mwabili. Anapewa zawadi ya kupata A ya chemistry. Let's appreciate Newstone. Daktari wetu mwaka huu. Moses Mbashu. This is an A in chemistry ya Moses Mbashu. Kuna Brian Ringo. Baasha zina hundi buwana. Zina check. Elf katha. Yo ni A. Newstone Seda. A minus ya chemistry. Congratulations boys. Kuna chawana Jason. Newstone na Newton wanaamua kufanya medicine. Kuna. Tuwa pigie makofi mazuri. Joseph Kadilo, an A minus. Aha, chawana ni marine engineer. Ehe, ukiona vimeundwa ajua, sijui vimeelea, mani kuelea vimeundwa. Whichever the case, that's our engineer right there. Thank you sir. Asante ni sana. Tuwapigie makofi wanafunzi wetu wanapondoka na cheki zao. Tunawatakia ni kila laheri mnapojiunga na vio viku. Tunaenda sasa kwa michezo. Tumeelezo kwamba shule yetu ilikuwa the best national basketball and of course runners up in the East and Central Africa. Mr. Kadoka naomba tafadhali usonge mbele pamoja na mwalimu mkuu. Alafu na Peter Ouma. Director Jilo tafadhali Watapewa vieti vyao kwa sababu ya kuwa washindi katika mpira wa kikapu pamoja na kikombe
Mr. Kadoka is the coach, team manager, sponsor, spiritual affairs, uh, basketball. Vile vile ni mshauri mkuu katika ofisi hiyo. He's also the commissar in the county. He's also an umpire in basketball. He's also a HOD baadaye atarudi. Hivyo vyote ni kwa sababu tunakuuza vipaji Dr. Agri. Congratulations Peter na kila laheri. Dr. Kilonzo uta wa zawadi walimu wetu alafu tutakamilisha zoezi hilo. Walimu wa Dr. Agri tafadhali ikiwa mnanisikiliza naomba tusonge karibu na meza hii ili tupokee zawadi zetu. Wa kwanza kabisa ni mwalimu Syria Mr. Daniel Syria. Mr. Daniel Syria is the HOS Mathematics. Anapata zawadi ya somo la biashara pamoja na hesabu. Tumpigie mwalimu wetu makofi mazuri. Ukikutana naye siku za kawaida bwana. Lakini shukran sana kwa sababu ya hafla hizi ambazo hivi leo tunaona rangi ambazo hatujawahi kuziona. Shukran sana and congratulations sir. Tunakwenda moja kwa moja hadi kwa David Lemera. Mr. Lemera ni HOS computer pamoja na kwamba alikuwa katika mashindano ya lawn tennis akafika kiwango cha county alipata pia na tumesema ni mshauri mkuu masuala ya dini congratulations the next teacher is mr david nanjinia tunaenda kwa mr election mwadime aka Abo. Tumpigie Abo makofi mazuri. The oldest boy in this congregation nafikiri. Mwalimu wetu ni HOD Technicals and he's the the best in the national KCSC exams kwa sababu alitupatia mini ya 12 nafikiri. Alafu kuna mwalimu Peter Ocharo Mr. Kililo Donald Mr. Donald Kililo ni mwalimu wetu wa Kifaransa and is the HOS French Tunaenda kwa komanda Mr. Joseph Ngwatu Mr. Joseph Ngwatu ikiwa upo Mr. Mwabaza Asante sana Mr. Mwabaza huyo ndo meja generali scouts ndo patron wa kikundi cha scout Mr. Rajab Indeche Mr. Raja Bindeche anapokea zawadi ya business studies pamoja na mathematics. He's also the class teacher last year, class of 2022, class teacher from Four Green. Mr. Simon Walicha. Mr. Walicha is the HOD guidance and counseling. He's also a teacher of history and CRE. Congratulations, sir. anafatiwa na madam Mary Jerry Madam Mary Madam Mary is the HOS English she's also the patron red cross Congratulations 
anafuatiwa na madam Pauline Haman. Madam Pauline Haman is the dean of studies. She is also the HOD English. She is also the patron or the team manager volleyball. Madam Rosemary Achieng. Asante sana daktari unaweza kupumzika sasa. Mheshimiwa Dorcas Walimu tafadhali Walimu tafadhali tufike tupokeza wadi zetu Karibu mheshimiwa Madam Joyce Mutemi Madam Joyce is a teacher of business studies and geography Madam Sarah Shali Mr. Abraham Waso Walimu tafadhali tunaomba kufika mahali hapa Mr. Ndeto Mwoki Mr. Odhiambo Collins Mr. Robert Asiro Mr. Nyakundi Morekwa. Mr. Nyakundi Morekwa is our deputy principal. He's also a teacher of geography and mathematics. Tumpigie mwalimu wetu makofi mazuri. Congratulations sir. Madam Grace Mabuti. Madam Grace Mabuti ni naibu wa mwalimu mkuu vile vile HOD Mathematics. Congratulations madam. Shukran sana mheshimiwa. Thank you so much. Mheshimiwa Peter Shambi, tafadhali Mheshimiwa Peter Shambi utampatia zawadi yake our member of the non teaching staff Boniface Mwairuba Tumpigie abo makofi mazuri Anafanya kazi nzuri kule kwa get Congratulations abo Mwenyezi Mungu akujalie hekma Tutazawadi sasa our former class reps. Madam Julia Mwale, class rep 4 red, class of 2022. Akifuatiwa na Stanislas Juma, Madam Cecilia Mwacharo. Congratulations Madam Julia. Nilisikia ulijisifu kwamba klasi yako ilikuwa klasi bora.